Was yeah, it the Ritz, maybe? That sounds you did nice. not go to the fucking yeah, Ritz, Carlton. Yeah. Uh, there is yeah, no way. As we play Monster Ball. You can't hear Zach. What do you mean I'm muted? I'll note that we only, no one else needs to own the game. You can play the game with four people and we won't have one person own it, which is pretty cool. Well, I'm not going to be here on Sunday due to, like, a family birthday. And lucky for us, uh, with Carrie, there's four extra people. So it's not like you're going to have one less because I can't play. Right. Well, Monster, so, Pro Monster Prime is up to four people anyway, so. Yeah, so I, I am happy that it turned out this way. I don't know if we're going to be playing Monster Prom three days in a row, but I'd like to at least play it once with the stream party. I mean, we. I mean, you. You said that uh, we could probably uh, get a playthrough done in three days minutes, in a row because right? I, I like Monster Prom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we might do I mean, more. Grant, Monster I don't know Prom if you later. knew, but we were we, me, Adrian, Zach, and then Lawrence. We just like finished another stream. That yeah, Zach was, was telling like, me all about it. <laughs> yes, you are mute, Zach. How? <laughs> Uh, yes, you, you are well, mute. Well, you're not mute. You're you're real quiet. I had to turn ah! it up quite a bit. Well, no, on me, he literally says, "Oh, it's muted by me." That makes sense. <laughs> you oh, <it's> fucking <laughs> I still idiot! I muted him. It's because of the last call. Okay. Yeah, it's because the last we time we were echoing Lawrence. Now I can hear okay. that. I also had that. Am I good? Well. Yeah. You're are we back good? Now. Everything now good? good? Now I can hear you. Okay, we can all hear Zach. Uh, okay, wonderful. Cool. All right. So, uh, so how do I? So, first off, I have no music. Am I supposed to have music? Uh, yeah, there's options menu. You just heard music on and off. Yeah, the you're supposed to sing start. along uh, <laughs> to the game. Yeah. The game. Oh, uh, I have it. I have it muted because I was farming for uh, steam badges in Monster Prom probably. before. Uh, there is an end credits theme, and it's the same theme. If you watch Steven Universe, it's the same theme that uh, it's it's a song they show in Steven Universe when Pearl goes to the concert. It's the same song as the end credits. Okay. So, do I do I just play or do we have to go online? Uh, you, you can just well, first of all, anyway? you should start streaming it. I'm to, sorry. What? To, first of all, you should start streaming it. Okay. He is streaming it. On. He meant on Discord. Twitch. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll go to Twitch just to help you out for a little bit. But um. It would. I would appreciate some numbers. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm. Listen. I keep forgetting. Okay. Um. So yeah, you can just press play. You don't have to go online since we all want can see it. Uh, this is this is like limited voices of like grunts and stuff when they do stuff. So it's up to you. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll do some voice effects. Monster yeah, it's not full voice acting, so we'll still have to do some reading. Monster. Wait, four Monster players, obviously. So is Carrie Monster. gonna be late? I know I don't think I'm gonna. I, I just texted her. Do a short game probably. Coming. Spooky high school. Uh, I'm guessing Zach would like to be the narrator. Oh, I mean, oh, I, I mean, I could. <laughs> ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. <laughs> Back then, we were young and unafraid, sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but but always willing to live life to the fullest. Wow. <laughs> is that is that my uh, is that my rival like alternate universe counterpart who I hate? Zachary Fullest. <laughs> <laughs> no, your rival would be Zachary Emptier. Oh, that's the an no, that's the anti-universe uh, version of me. Zachary Fullest is your next evolution. Oh, yeah. you're super right. Yeah, it's Zachary Full, then Fuller, then Fullest. Yeah, Full is when you were like a baby. Full Fuller is your current state of life. Anyways. <laughs> and, when I, and when I'm a full-fledged adult, I will be Fullest. Zachary Fullest. Yeah. We were on a we were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Okay. So, player one will probably be Zach, and I already called dibs on blue. You wanted blue. I want blue. God, I can't describe to you how much I want red, but I don't think I can do her voice. Thankfully, I'm your your player here doesn't have, doesn't have any speaking lines, so you don't actually have to do your own character's voice. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Oh, I called it. Right. Oh, you did? <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, because I was telling my brother about this uh, that we were playing Monster Prom because he loves Monster Prom, and I was like, I'll, I fucking hundred percent know Zach's gonna pick the red girl. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> be yes, fair, because you're girl... right doesn't mean you can call me out on it. 
To be fair, the red girl <laughs> is really good. She's really good. Okay. You oh my god, she name? has great. Alright. Uh, so who's player two? I guess you? I guess we'll go in stream order, so I'll be blue. I want you to change my name, please. What is your name? Blue. Custom name. Uh, Mort. Thunkus. That's not Mort. <laughs> Mort got this into Thank a you. fucking car <laughs> Mort wreck. Mort got this into a fucking car wreck. Okay, there and then go. she. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. And then Grant. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so then uh, Grant. Give me a blob. This guy? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Uh. Custom name. Uh, could I be uh, black and cheese? Thank you. Oh, I can only do Shit. black and cheese. Cheem. Just remove, just remove the spaces. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, you're yeah, right. What's your guys' name? Grant. I always keep on forgetting because I really don't care about this uh, side uh, story that you guys make. But what is it like the, with the doom fist and? That's what it was. Doom is, yeah, I've been watching <laughs> Red, too much. Mort, Black and Cheese, and then Saba is. What's your character's name, Saba? I can we restart? Anything. I want to give my character a funny name. All right, fine. We can restart. How do I restart? You have Alt to exit F4. the game because it's too late. <laughs> oh, I was right. <laughs> you can't back out now. You got to restart the game. All right, oh we're going back in because <laughs> now I want funny name. Mort got this into a, Mort got this into a fucking car wreck. I'm paralyzed from the neck down. I can no longer move it, move it. Okay. I'm gonna do a different name this time. Oh my god, why? <laughs> because I don't like Mort. <laughs> no, you guys ruined Mort for him. I'm sorry, Adrian. Uh, no, that's stupid. I wanted to... Oh, I, uh, fucking... There you go. You're, you're also not streaming on Discord again, so there's gonna be some delay. Oh fuck. Here you go. Fine, I'll though. go live. Thank you. Alright, and then you don't want to be Mort? I want to be Frankie Stein. That's pretty good. Are you are you? I don't know if I can Monster fit that. High? Is that what you're doing? Adrian? Oh yeah, isn't that a character? <laughs> God damn it, I never watched Monster High. <laughs> Frankie is Stein? Isn't this it D-I-N? Yeah. E it's whatever, it's good enough. Okay. Oh, if this is the case, we're going Monster High. You you need to name my character. What's his name? Deuce. Deuce. All right, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, may I be called uh, Oozer Manual? <laughs> Grant. I don't know if it's gonna fit. <laughs> Damn. I'll, I'll, I could type it out. There you no, go. No, no, that totally, out. that totally, no, that totally fits. Fuck uh, yeah. Do you want it okay. with the space? Yes, please. Now, now you're making me so jealous, because obviously I'm just hot for teacher here, but, like, this guy's funny. <laughs> Alright, and then Saba. What's your character's name? Just call him Deuce. No, do not call him that. <laughs> Saber. <sighs> I'm gonna have to kill Zach. Is that how you spell that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. With, with spaces, all capitals. Yep. <laughs> Even this <laughs> sure. How is this, right, Saba? Cool. Is this okay? Of course it is. Sure. <laughs> All right, Zach. We had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt. I don't like how they give an age, but that's okay. Miranda Vanderbilt, a sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she was genocidal. Nice. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Gamer. Damien LeVay. 21? Why are you in high school? <laughs> Don't question it, it's Monster High School. So a fearless be, demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott, how- wait. Yeah, it's Aaron. Scott oh, Knight. is it? Yeah, he yeah. voices in this game. Oh, okay, that, that hit me like a fucking truck. Because <laughs> I, like, I was like, no, wait a minute. Anyway. Scott Howe, a werewolf 
<laughs> athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with st a stupidly huge heart. <laughs> Liam de Lioncourt, 4XX, because <laughs> he's a vampire. That's funny. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geist, <laughs> a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, <laughs> a mean, <laughs> self-made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. So, so before I move on, I gotta say, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I don't want to truly, but I will say that Polly Geist is easily my favorite character out of these guys. I think. I was. I was gonna say she's pretty cool. I was just about to say the only two characters that are interesting to me at all are the fucking homicidal mermaid because she's basically just Undine. And then fucking Polygeist. Yeah. So what about you, Grant? Do you have a taste here? Uh, I'm either Polly or Scott. Are we all gonna compete for for Polly? <laughs> no, okay. I'll go for the mermaid. My my character. Is Fuck like you! You'll go for the mermaid. <laughs> yeah. I called it first. Now you called it between both, Zach. That's bullshit. Uh -huh. Well, we'll see how this plays out. But anyways, it was clear it had to be one of them. But who? Well, we had two like weeks to choose one. our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Also, there are secret dates that you can get. Yeah. Oh! This. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I thought that said starved. <laughs> That's why I, I was like, wait. Uh, yeah. uh, is this also the narrator? I mean, I can sure. do this part. Yeah, you, you do want. it. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. Wow. All minds are on, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose <laughs> which kind of deviant sicko you are. Hell yeah, dude. Well, dude. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into character stats. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Teen Wolf. <laughs> Let's start. What will be the coolest prize you can find in your box of cereal? Of a sexy tiger on the front of the box. I can't <laughs> I can't just reveal that I'm a furry, I gotta pick something else. He's a great leveler. <laughs> no, it's great. Call me great. I'm about to say the image is what that says. <laughs> Oh, well... <sighs> Are you going trying to be in character? That's well, no, I'm right. just I'm just gonna kind of, like, be me, I guess. But it's just, like... The, the other two options suck, so I have to go with the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but I kind of like the idea of just horrifically mauling my teeth in serious. I'm gonna go to the second option, please. Who's our uh, manual? <laughs> I forgot about the name! Uh... Let's go the first one. I'll, I think I'll also go the first one. So bold. Ooh, so smart. You got charm and I got boldness. Which god would you pray to each night before sleeping? Praying is for fools. <laughs> Come around and picks up a god molesting a tree. Now I blackmail for whatever I want. A lot more effective. Oh, I pray to all sorts of gods. I have this <laughs> business where people pay me to deliver their prayers every night. I have a server for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. Praying is kind of lame. Great text that was some deities. Dionysus, Bastet, Loki, coolest cats in town. I'll go with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go... I'm also gonna go with praying is kind of lame. And I have a group text with the coolest deities. Uh, praying is for fools. Oops, I was... Uh, I think I like the last one. Okay. Oh god, I'm so charming. Oh, you guys are so <laughs> What criteria would you use to name your children? Just a swear word. <laughs> My name with a two. <laughs> a uh, non hermaphrodite name to give them freedom. Or hetero heteronormative. That's a, a name. Just too much work. Like, Bob, you're Mary. Well, these are all stupid. <laughs> That's the idea. I don't like any of these. I'd go with this, I guess. I'd also go with a non-heterodorf name. I've genuinely thought about that. 
Uh, uh, research for a name that is pun-proof and joke-proof. No one will pick on them. That's protective. Just so it, this can be great, my name plus... <laughs> Saba, <laughs> Saba, the second. No, oh, do smiley face, face the second. The second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great. someone, uh, someone message here. Dave and tell him that we started the stream. Ooh! Wait, oh, I don't, I don't, I, I didn't see who, I didn't mermaid. see who. I think I have to go for Gorgon. Well, these are only starting bonuses. You can still go for whoever you want. Yeah, that's not yeah. fair. Saba Destiny. has a bonus with Destiny. the fucking mermaid. <laughs> me and me and Zach got bonuses for the vampire. Alright, so where do you want to go first? Oh god, Different... what? If you hover over your stats in the top right, you can see what bo what location boosts what. Oh. You can see all our stats there. Uh, wow, Jesus Christ. What? Like, Grant is super smart. I'm smart as fuck. <laughs> Grant is so smart. I, uh, you're, all, you're so charming. I'm charming as fuck, but so isn't fucking... You. Dude. Mm -hmm. So is smiley face. We literally have almost this, except for boldness and creativity. I have more creativity. I just got I'm mediocre stats. Wait, do I have anything that's better than you? Boldness. Oh, I have boldness. So you and yeah, I just swapped boldness, boldness and creativity. Okay, I understand. Yep. I, uh, I, I don't have any knives, but I also don't have any threes, so. Fucking. Alright, so money is obviously the money face. Uh. <coughs> is. What's. What's fucking yellow mouth? That's fun. Oh, fun. Okay. What's. Uh. What's orange face? Sunglasses. Orange is boldness. That's boldness. Charm is obviously pink. What the fuck is, uh. Purple? What, what the fuck is purple? Purple is, uh, creativity. Creativity. Why is that the hot toy? All right, well, so see. real quick, Adrian, just one more thing from like a design perspective. Should I be trying to balance out my stats or just like fucking skyrocket something as far as that's, I can? That's up to you. I will say this. Uh, if you if you choose to go somewhere, the later players can't choose to go there for that round. Oh! <laughs> so you can block off people. And every round it determines who goes first uh, randomly. Oh, thank God yeah. it was me. So uh, for dude, now, this is I'm I'm actually I'm actually like choked for choice right now. Like I don't know what I want to pick. <laughs> it's up to you, man. I know this is a lot of pressure. I don't. I fucking I could go for charm. Just be even more charming. That's an that's an option. You can go That'd for be it, insane. Go you go to the gym, get, so get a bunch of charm. Which one's this? That's the creativity. Option. Creativity. Mm -hmm. I'll balance out my creativity a little bit. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. So you're the narrator for this part, I guess. So is it? So is it just narrator? Yeah, just narrator. That day, for now. while re rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have decided to give you figurative oral sex. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Your performance is intense and inspiring. I like how the skull's like, no. <laughs> it will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by a high school play standards. I gained plus two creativity! Dude, now I'm just, like, good! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterwards to lecture you on Instagram filters. Oh! That's uh, pretty I sharp. guess I can be... I can be Liam. Uh... What no one seems to understand is about to do this is that they're not just about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I use my own proprietary filter for almost all my photos. Infinite Talp. <laughs> Top. It's also probably why I only have six Instagram followers, but we must all make sacrifices for art. Ooh. In any case, I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot I simply must document. As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out an air conditioning duct. She dresses literally like a princess. She's Daisy. Who wants to take Miranda's voice? Oh. Okay, I'll just do it. <laughs> uh, goodness! The situation is even more dire than I thought. If Operation Make Liam Popular again is to be succeed, <laughs> we must get started immediately. What's that? Why, yes, of course you're part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular again? Well, 
He's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. Phase one is getting Liam more Instagram followers. I took the liberty of having my royal spies discover the password to his account so we can give it a total makeover. But what to do? All right, so now you have a choice Horn here. Horn and bomb receipt or rock recipes. Uh, pay a million homeless people to follow Liam on Instagram. So, so you have that kind of money. Your decision here is based on your stats and how well you can use them. Uh, so is this because my creativity is not super high? Uh, I mean, either could work if your stat rate is high enough. No, so I, you know, no, the, yeah, so the choices are always going to be the same choices, but whether or not the choices will work out effectively. Oh, it depends yeah. on my stats. stats. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So do you think you have the stats to use either of these choices? If so, which one? I, I don't even know what fucking these choices would imply. That's part of the challenge of the oh, game. Oh, oh, this one, oh, this one's obviously money, which is five, which is like, I guess, average looking at everybody's stuff. But what the fuck is this? Is this fun or boldness? What do you think? I'm assuming it's probably. I, Actually, I wait, wait. That. This well, doesn't fucking matter because I have five. Scene. I have five in everything that's not smart or charm. I will say that early on the stat challenges are easy, but later on they get harder. Okay. Well, well this is pretty hard already. I'll pay a million homeless people. To follow Liam on Instagram. Oh yes, just as father pays millions to vote for him in our <laughs> fair and democratic elections. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I think I can cut costs by paying one of Father's clone smiths to simply let replicate the same thousand people a thousand times. Good lord. You ask Miranda if she thinks it's ethical, but she's as confused about the meaning of ethics as she is about fair and democratic elections. Soon, uh, soon the plot and the requisite clones are hatched. You run into Liam in the halls a few hours later. I am distraught. My carefully husbanded popularity is crumbling before my eyes. Look at all these followers. Look at the comments. Totally real account 66. I love you, Liam. Another equally real account. You are so obscure and avant-garde. The sentiments they are expressing are objectively correct. And yet, no, I cannot give in to the law of the limelight. In spite of this, Liam seems to be enjoying himself quite... Oh my god, what the hell did I just get? You got plus I two got charm, charm and fun. fun. Yeah, you succeeded in the challenge, so you get stat bonuses. Fuck yeah, dude! I am the most charming motherfucker in the planet. I will kill Deuce. <laughs> Smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> With your charm. The rest of the day, helping him curate his feed, gaining two charm and one fun in the process. Let's go. Cool. Right. Are we sure we're not just going in order? I'm. Maybe the maybe gotta... round one is in order. Yeah, round round one was player order, but then afterward is random. Uh, you'll see. Uh, take me to church. Go to the bathroom. What? It's on, the, it's on the right. The bathroom. Oh, this one. What does that one do? Yeah, that's 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 boldness. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. <laughs> Wait, why is she on? Because I'm Frankenstein. Oh. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. Oh, Grant has left the scene. Oh. 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 Grant has re-entered the scene. Later, you see Liam beaming to himself. Liam? Beaming? Wow, it appears means. my application to write for Virtue magazine was received and accepted. So often. I knew my pitch would hook them. Imagine the edgiest, most irreverent article subject you think of. Now double it. That's my article subject. Also, I didn't like his voice line. Did you hear his voice line? Adrian um, was talking over it, so it was hard. His, his voice line was just like real close to the mic. So authentic. <laughs> and it was Let's like, see. oh my god. I used the writing it? technique on some called lying. It's very effective. Up until they call you bluff. Now I've got to actually write an article and I've got no idea of what to write. You save me from the consequences of my actions. Suggest an idea that lives up to my own hype. Passion of revolution for realization of Chimera toxins and chilling like on the passenger seat griffin tracking. Ah, <sighs> this is... Oh, man. 
I'm gonna go for a passionate argument for legalization of chimera toxins. I mean, yeah, your smart is better. Oh, I was charmed. Ooh, which one? Ah, uh, yes. Kim Kim. It's a champagne of the hot drugs. 100% lethal after two doses, but those two doses. Wow. But <laughs> those two doses. Wow. 100% <laughs> lethal. I've heard that it may have such exciting medical applications, such as euthanasia and fucking up so badly you forget what was wrong with you. <laughs> Why? I'm even, in. Even I have been known to indulge little Kim Kim from time to time. It's marvelous, like dying all over again. Oh yeah, that's a good point. He is undead, so I guess he could just do that. How can something that has killed so many people be bad? How, I ask you? How? Soon thereafter, you see a piece of virtue by new correspondent... Oh, in virtue, by new correspondent Liam de Lioncourt. The true cost. Why Chimera Toxin is not an addiction, but an addition to the quality of your life. Boom! Drugs are always the answer. You gain plus two fun and one charm. Oh, yeah. My god, your boldness is so high. Alright. All right. Grant, where to? Are you literally uh, just shit monster? <laughs> he's a oh. shadow man. Uh, uh Jim, please. For charm. Yeah, Wait, charm. is Jim charm? Okay, hold yeah. on. <laughs> you might want to ask those things beforehand, right? Probably. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, you're gonna get some good charm. You're gonna be smart and charming. Wait. Just not very fun. Just not very fun at all. <laughs> That's fine. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Leading you, uh, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Whee. During the next match, your team is struggling, and one of your teammates is distracted with some other shit. Guess which one? Ooh. Who wants to take? Uh, how are we gonna divide this up? Oh gosh, I can't. I can, Sava, I can <laughs> get in there. Just all me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can take one of them. I don't know. Do you want like right, I'll, like uh, be, Polly Geist is supposed fair. to be a it's supposed to be like a party girl, right? Do you want to just do the uh, or do you want me to just do like my fucking uh, e uh what was her name? Eeny. Eeny. Yeah, Eeny Meeny. I'll I'll be Vera then. Yeah, Polly, are you just scrolling through dick pics on Vampire? No, Vera. I'm totally participating and engaging in physical activity. I love gym class. Come on, Polly. You really want the shame of losing to Liam? He's been doing organic blood shots out of a rabbit skull in between rounds. And Damien's going to shove it in our faces. I hate when Damien tries to shove anything in my face. Oh my. Look, I like winning as much as the next monster, but... Why is dodgeball apparently the only sport we ever play at this school? Some schools do volleyball in gym, or track and field, or cross-country cross skiing. Really? What? <laughs> but what we have is dodgeball, and I want to win it. When life gives you lemons, you gotta squirt some lemon juice in someone's eyes. That's what's up. Totally. Let me finish editing this selfie. Have you seen this mess? Massacre. Massacre. Massacre? It's fucking... They need to... Can they... Can I mod this so that way it has a better R? <laughs> I keep reading it as oh, a V and I'm massacre. like, what the... Well, because I thought it was... Massacre. I was like, what the fuck is a massacre? <laughs> a dove. <laughs> no, no, Maybe there's a way to inspire Polly to get... Your, uh, get on your level and lead you to victory. Wouldn't all of you be happier that way? Alright. Uh, Ooh. Don't you see, dodgeball is just dancing that you can win at. I was about to say, that's that definitely cool? something that she would like to hear. <laughs> and yeah. plus, you have, ch you have high charm, so you might charm her into doing it. Yeah. Do you got more Ooh. charm. An, in an uncharismatic move, Polly looks... <laughs> po what? Characteristic, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. On an uncharacteristic uh, move, Polly looks up from her phone during gym class. I do like dancing and winning. Let's go to win. Oh my god. Is to win a word you just made up for dancing and winning at the same time? Yep. Well, it's got win in it, so I like it. Let's go show these losers how winning is done. Your team spirit 
uh, your team springs into action. God, I can't read. <laughs> Do you want me to take over narrator? <laughs> Maybe, please. Just because like, I'm really tired from the stream earlier. Right, sure. Your team springs into action, dancing your way around balls being thrown and onto the warpath. Polly dances the boogie while Vera waves her hair in the Harlem snake. Uh -huh. Wow, that's not dated. Oh, uh, yeah. It works. You win an electrical landslide. You gain plus two creativity and oh, plus one Oh, you got fun. some fun in your Hey. hey. It was like you're a little bit more long. fun. I like how that was the charming response. Oh, no, no, because you passed because of being charming. Okay, um, I understand. Yeah, sure. I guess All right. so. All right. Where to now? You only have three options. Uh, everyone took something that I would want to do. So you got. That's so you got. Let's just go smarts then. Smarts. So you want this? That'd be class. Yeah, that'd be class. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense, the game gimmicks, you forget the attending class <laughs> is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. You're gazing oh, dreamly Miranda when a flash of otherworldly light blinds you. When your vision clears, you see a great rift that opened in time and space stand and stand in the middle of it. What the <laughs> fuck what? was this? What? I'm the prince of the other world, and I am here to fulfill an ancient prophecy. Majestic. A prophecy? How exciting and regal! What sort of prophecy is it? It's a prophecy of love. Oh boy, here it comes. Legends foretell of a great beauty, with the hair of an angel and the scales of a fish, a beauty who I am destined to marry. Saba. So if the portal's still open, I would just, like, kick him full force through <laughs> it, and then well, just close it back up. Like, hey, okay. see, hey, Saba, can we call a temporary truce as we both murder this man? Sure. <laughs> That's why I said I wanted to freaking kick him out of here. <laughs> well, let's see what your options deal with him are. Saba. Saba. Oh, oh, shoot, I keep on forgetting. But that, <laughs> that sounds like a perfect description of me. Could it be that I am the great beauty described in the prophecy? Well, yes, that's sort of what I was trying to imply. Now come with me to my realm, where we may plan a magnificent wedding. What monster is he supposed to be? Is he just supposed to be like an interdimensional Alien? being? Yeah, hey, he's just an interdimensional dude. Okay. You can't let him get away with this, but that prophecy is hard to argue with. The only argument you can think of is... Oh, frick. Angel. Oh! <laughs> oh! Damn. The fish scales I glued to the handful of angel hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm doing the first one. Clearly, <laughs> yeah, you definitely passed so that. Charming. <laughs> it's true. The very hair you now look upon was stolen and grafted from the scalp of Thetis herself. Thetis? Oh. I don't know. Daddy really does insist on the best hair for all his children, even if it angers the gods. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, perhaps the prophecy was speaking metaphorically. And yet, technicalities are very things these sorts of prophecies turn upon. Oh, alas! Would that I could find a princess with less perfect hair! The prince flees through his portal to go trolling for more princesses as Miranda glows with pride. You gain plus two smarts, plus one charm. Dang! Oh my hair. god! I'm just rolling with. <laughs> I guess what I'm the gonna be fuck? Smart you got time. fucking. Four smarts! <laughs> Are you kidding? Let's trade okay, places. Yeah, yeah. Alright, okay, now we randomly cool. choose an animal before clicking. Alright, I choose lion. I like tigers. I don't know what the animals there are. I choose would like animal. a koi fish. I don't okay. want a single sparrow. Okay. So that wait, what? Well, wait, okay. So I missed how strong you avoid eating a selected animal. Fuck. Oh, I would not eat a tiger. Ah, oh, nope, nope. Especially since that's like my favorite animal. Wait, nope. so I mean, wait, so how? Wait, so how strongly you would avoid eating the selected right. animal? Okay, so well I, then I'm nope. I'm last because I need a koi fish. Yeah, I need. I, 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 I need. A, I need a sparrow. I mean, I, I don't know. Between me and you, Adrian, yeah. lion and a tiger, they're basically on the same level. Let's be honest. I feel like lions especially, are. Uh -huh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess I'd rather I eat a lion. I'm more than endangered tiger. by this point, too. So I, yeah, don't touch yeah, the tigers, please. I think lion we'll first. So, so Saba's like I, the. I've least... made it in. Well, hey, hello, Lawrence. Lawrence. Yo. You can back, Lord. So are so we? So lion first, I think. 
right? Wait, lion first or tiger first? Wait, which is, which, we just say lions or tigers? Or no, ti you said tigers you want to avoid more. Yeah, I want to avoid tigers more, but like, uh, Saba, what do you think? I, I agree, remember? I'm like, they're okay, kind yeah, of so, so, danger too. So we want to avoid <laughs> lions, or no. Tigers. So yeah, I was going to say Saba's right, so Saba first. So it's clearly, it's clearly you two. And then right. I personally, so like I right now, I'm thinking between a sparrow and a koi fish, and I would rather not eat a koi fish than a sparrow. Okay. Why? You get more meat. But koi fish are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so are sparrows. sparrows can be cute I mean, and fluffy and I mean, to, Sparrows to are head, birds. To put my head in, sparrows are like, I don't know, I feel like sparrows got really small bones that be very dangerous and hard to pick out. Yeah, and I don't, you're not going to get much off of it. That, that's my I mean, two in terms of deliciousness, things. probably koi tastes. Yeah, or you can probably. eat more of it, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> like that's koi. what I'm saying. Koi okay. cool. Alright. So with all that being said, would you... I don't know. Like, I can't... Like, this is actually really difficult, because it's like, I don't know. If you want, you can choose random for the rest oh, of here, them. Lawrence, what is your input? Yeah. Lawrence, would you rather... Which would you rather I, eat, a koi fish or a sparrow? Koi fish or a sparrow? Yeah. Shoot, let me... What's a koi fish? What's a koi fish? It's like those fish, those like yellow, white, orange fish that you find in like Japanese ponds. Yeah, yeah. The real pretty ones. <laughs> the real pretty? Do they taste pretty? Uh, I don't know. There's koi no. sushi. Oh. Fish. There's koi sushi. That's pretty good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, koi! Okay, uh, I was I was seeing koi fish like in a different spelling. That's why I couldn't right. figure out so, what the heck was koi fish. So would you rather eat a koi fish or a sparrow? Ooh. Or you can say which one would you avoid eating more? It's the same question. There's only two options. I know. Right. Listen. All right. All right. It, sparrows are pretty small, so there's like not much to eat off of. You have yeah. three seconds to decide, or I'm hitting random. Koi fish. <laughs> I would eat a koi fish. You would eat a koi All fish right. before yeah. a sparrow. So that means that... More meat. So that Grant means that Uzer Manual would be third, and then I'd be fourth. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. I really like I that, that way of This probably play. means I go first now, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Now you get to choose who you want to sit with at lunch. Go! You know who I want? Give me that mermaid princess. Wait, who the fuck are these other characters? Who the you fuck is that. this? I can tell you right now, or you can find out if you want to. I don't know, cause if, cause clearly, clearly, I'm not gonna be able to sit here. <laughs> I can't. The, both of the characters I want, but I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, hello. Well, anyways, it's Grant first. No, it's sorry, not Grant. Saba. That's Saba. I got mistaken. Yeah. So I was like, mama. Paul and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. <laughs> Oh yeah, now I remember who So, the wait, is. you've <laughs> actually got serfs who eat for you? Disgraceful. Well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. But how do you get the nutrients in you? Me neither. <laughs> what are the kinds of crazy serfs you got? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. All right, I don't want the mermaid anymore. <laughs> in fact, I, in fact, I'm pretty sure that as she keeps talking, all I want to do is eat the mermaid. Oh my god! Well, you did choose a fish. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of serfs. It's a fair amount, so the only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from serfdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> well, I'm sure with the help of Deuce Smiley Face, <laughs> we could probably <laughs> think up a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. So this would probably be creativity, I would assume? Well, it's a challenge, so... Oh, it's a challenge, oh, You're on the yeah. spot now, so what will it be? Uh, I will say that at lunchtime, usually your choice... Uh, usually your choice makes you... Makes one of the two people that you go with happier than the other. Oh, so like... Oh, party choose... surf! <laughs> yeah, so I wonder which one that makes happier. That would be happier. for Polly, right? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Versus... So, I'm, since I'm going for Miranda, you should do the top one. Yeah. Okay. 
A surf that's actually just a room full of cute puppies? Why didn't my imagination surf come up with such a marvelous idea? <laughs> a surf that's actually just a four-wheeled vehicle powered by exploding gasoline? That's amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, god damn it. I swear, if he hadn't escaped, I'd have him hanged by my execution surf immediately. That's fucked up. <laughs> As a matter of fact, would you like to be my new imagination, sir? The pay is non-existent, <laughs> but you make up for it in constant fear of death. You politely decline Miranda's offer, but agree to go to the animal shelter to pick out a puppy surf instead. Huzzah! Yay! <laughs> Alright, I want to sit with the Slayer in the top right. <laughs> Wonderful. Looks like uh, like the Red Riding Hood character, but normally You're taking a break from socializing to eat your lunch when someone punches you in the knee. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. Oh my god! I kind of want to do this voice, but I'm already doing some, a lot of voices. And also Grant take has done coat. none. Sure, Grant, I have take zero voice. people. <laughs> the... Eat knee pain, freak! Now I'm going to punch your ow! Wait, is this just a monster hunter? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's is amazing. Student? Student? You just threw your app letter. Finally, a use for that red delicious. You defeated the Slayer. She flees, leaving two choice pieces of loot <laughs> behind. Loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear. Or was this person some kind of video game? No time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick the loot before it's all gone. Oh, fuck. Uh, 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 a gun with the, that shoots steak with each shit burned at the side of them. <laughs> <laughs> you scoop up the sweet ass gun and go about your day. Obviously, you're not going to use it to kill any of your classmates. You're a monster, not a monster. But later, in biology class, the teacher calls on you without warning. You panic because who has time to do reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates? But your panic turns to self search when you hear the teacher's question, What do flies do? Rather than responding with a lame-ass spoken words, you respond by firing a wooden stake straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit? exclaims the teacher. Why, that's exactly right. Congratulations. You got smart stuff. God. You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever works. You gain plus four, four boldness. Four boldness? Oh, How high do yeah. these numbers go? He's That's just getting bold. Have. That's oh, it. All right, where to, Grant? Put me with uh, Werewolf. Scott and the Vampire God, guy? Yeah, yeah. You find Liam taking a picture of his food, and Scott taking a picture of also Liam's food. <laughs> ah, yes, Scott. Snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. He has a lot of different Who's outfits. Scott? <laughs> Who's gonna do Scott? I don't know. You Grant, do it. You do it. All right. Artistic what? I'm playing Pokemon's Go, <laughs> the mobile version of the hit Pocket Humans video game. Oh, get it, Pokemon's. Ha ha ha. Oh, because originally it was Pocket Monsters. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Also, this game's very dated. <laughs> what do Pocket Mans have to do with my food pick? There's the level 43 Bernard Henson hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott, why does your phone show a tiny human doing pottery on top of my eggplants for ravioli? You mean you thing. don't know Bernard Henson? He used to be a chartered accountant, but now he's decided to pursue his dreams being a world-famous potter. That major life change has made him super rare. Pocket humans almost never follow their dream. Well, I don't care how rare he is. His presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it, but pocket humans are way cooler than a, some boring old food pick. His teeth are all fucked up. It's just shop. You take that mm -hmm. back. Uh oh, tempers are running a little high. Looks like it's up to you to settle this dispute. Okay, who do you uh, want? That's Stuart Hogarth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to go with Scott, so Scott's right, Liam. When you can take a food pick of. Yeah. Top one. Uh, Do you think that'll go with Scott? Won't it? Scott's right, Leon. Why take Maybe. a normal? No, no, no. Because Scott, because Scott is interested in the in the Pokemans, whereas no, this. But, but I'm telling but that no, Scott is right. You're trying to you're trying it's... to distract him on the bottom one. Like you'd be like, yeah. Right, I but the, but this is suggesting thing. something for Liam to do. Well, either way, it's your choice. You don't. I thought it was. Sure. I thought it was the bottom because it's like trying to get rid it, of. Uh, it might be. Scott. So you could talk to Liam. Fuck. It could, be, it could go either way for this one. What do you think? I'm gonna say Scott's right, Liam. Okay. okay. Top one. Oh, Fuck it was him. Oh wait. No, shit. you did get what you yeah, wanted. Yeah, you yeah, got you right. got what you wanted. 
he Cooking immediately like di went into the background, so I got scared. <laughs> the layers of irony are practically infinite. Go ahead, Scott, capture your Pokemon. Okay, here I go. Wait, what's he doing? Stop molesting my pasta. He's actually eating. I'm not trying to grab your pasta, bro. I'm just gra trying to grab Bernard Henson, but he's too slippery. You imbecile! Bernard Henson isn't actually top of my ravioli. He's an image protected by your phone. Are you sure? He seems so real. Let me just try to grab him a few more times. Oh my god. No! Oh, my off flare pasta pockets are in disarray! You fiend! Liam chases you and Scott away so he can rebuild his artful pasta arrangement. You bond with Scott by teaching him how to actually play Pokemon's Go. Let's do this. Yay. Wait, did you not two. get a bonus for that? Apparently you, not. You only get affinity for the character that you please. You don't get a bonus. Okay. Oh, for this, this one. this character, you choose the bottom also, right, I want to voice her. The, the bottom right is character her? is the shop. Him or her, whoever. I want to voice the bottom right character is the top left. The bottom right character is the shop. You can buy stuff there with money. I don't have a lot of money. You have Maybe enough money to buy something, money. probably. But it's up to oh, money's on the bottom. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, because yeah. I don't really give a shit about either of these characters. <laughs> sure. S things in the shop can boost your stats, potentially. Show me the money. Oh, what? You I can't date her? her? Shop, buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you into spooky new adventures, even some shit that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So take so a look. So I'm not gonna say how, but there is a secret ending where you can date her. Eh, bullshit! I want her. I, I well, think then you I know. I know how to get special, clearly. But I'm pretty sure we too we poor for this. Hi, PR PR social life is so hard. Is that hiring a PR agent is totally different. Oh, PR agent. Are you sure about this? You can always use Wikipedia to get the general idea and still be able to act as if you read it. I don't know. Should I just look at? Punk yeah, she's like a punk goth cat. Literally, just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots, so... Okay, that's interesting. And that's Badass tattoo! <laughs> Even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then, the m and then murder them too. And go to some kind of super prison, street crit, plus 9,000. So that obviously boosts your... Oh, and this one, that's I wonder what this one boosts. <laughs> Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? Yeah, I'm selling the corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's, it, it is not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Ugh. Remember when these used to be cool? Now there aren't. But they're so ridiculous that they're still fun in their own twisted way. Why? The <laughs> hardest thing is being yourself, honey. But a Latin accent is a close second, TBH. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Quotation mark. <laughs> Quot but this one's zero dollars! It's, it's a random item. Oh! Alright, so I'm, think, I'm thinking dollars. I'm thinking either the creativity or the, <laughs> or the zero dollar. Because, like, what's this? This one will probably be, like, charm, right? Maybe. Because um, like, this one's clearly fun. This one's like boldness. This one's probably smarts. And then nothing gives you money because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the present might give you money if it's if you get lucky. It's a random item. So if I buy I'm this, do I literally lose too? my money stat? By the way. Yes, you do. Okay, so I'm spending my money stat to get this. Yes. Also, Adrian. So, is the can the box have bad stuff too in it? Uh, there are there are items that decrease some stats, but usually they also give you a shitload of other stats. Interesting. I'll in case we ever do this again, yeah, I'm, I might I'll do the box later. I'm just gonna get the creativity for now because I really want to try to get this cat girl. Sure. Bob Ross. Yeah, I'm it was just plus five. How people keep coming and buying all this stupid crap. Intriguing. So it was minus five money for plus five creativity. Okay. Sure. All right. Let's trade places again. Choose something cool. Uh, I don't crime. know. I Ice cream. Crime. Crime. I don't know. Grant Saba. Lawrence. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Lawrence, that's cool. Oh. Saba. Oh, nice. um, Antarctica. Good, I made okay, that so joke, have... you piece of shit. So we have ice cream, crimes, Lawrence, and Antarctica. How crazy would it be if Hunter did something? 
world currency. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! This is like the same, dude. Ice cream, come on, you gotta, come on. Ice cream being I the world's currency. I would prefer if Lawrence was the currency from a hundred years. I don't know. I, I think I that's pretty good too. I think that having Lawrence's currency would be probably the wildest one. Because it says how crazy. Oh, it does say I, crazy. I think yeah. I think Grant takes that one. Damn it. So now, next... now is it is it talking about copies of me or like my body parts? No, just I think it's just you, Lawrence. Just you. Oh, it's just so, you. So your body parts. So yeah, we have. So if we we're going like... with so if we're going with craziest, I think it should then Mine's be the Saba, because right? Saba's is a literal continent, which makes no sense. Right. And I Everyone think that I think that the I think that the least crazy would be crime as a currency because we're heading there right now. Oh, yeah, I mean to be fair, that's kind of yeah. I mean all pretty much all money in our current society is almost always gained by crime, so or at least the vast majority of it. Uh, so I'm gonna say yeah, I'll go last. I like oh, how we have like oh, we have like choice, and then okay, I understand. Yeah. Oh. Yo, cat. <laughs> you, I don't know. Have, I feel like we should let money. Zach do that. <laughs> do you want to just keep trying to buy? You're out of money, Zach. You have more money. What before. about that present that costs zero? Uh, it might not be there. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, the shop inventory rotates. I I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know that. I assumed that it would be the same. <laughs> you don't have a chance with the cat girl. Oh, oh shit! Can so I go yeah, to Rave one... Tree? Where you want? Rave Tree. That rave would be Tree outdoors. And what is that one? Uh, it's fun. That's fun. fun? That oh, oh, he's oh, he's bad. Oh, he's hitting that whole crazy. Dead. <laughs> you have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rat party. You gain plus two. Yeah. You're getting yeah. more fun. Yes. Oh You're no. You're enjoying one of your high school famed raves because, duh, that's the kind of thing that happens to high school, right? Nope. You look across <laughs> the way, notice that Vera is making <laughs> eye contact with you. Granted, there's a chance that she's trying to turn you to stone, but that just seems like it might be a positive. It's at the moment that interdimensional rift opens up and out pops the interdimensional prince. Yay! He's back. Mm -hmm. Greetings, students of Spooky High. I am honored to attend your schoolyard rave. Isn't that weird, Prince, who's always crashing our events? Why is he like this? As royalty, doesn't he have anything better to do? I don't know, Zach. I kind of like this guy, actually. I don't like. Why him. am I here? Why? What a foolish <laughs> question, my lady love. I am here at your invitation. So I'm going to go with Noah and how did I invite you? Ah, oh, but my beautiful stony face snake-haired angel, I have your invite right here, tucked inside my suit, close to my heart. Oh my gosh. Two-dimensional prince holds an invitation with a flourish and hands it to Vera. First of all, we don't send out invites to these things, they, ra they happen randomly. Second of all, this is clearly a forgery. You pierce my very core, how could you say such a thing? To start with, you spelled Vera and Oberlin wrong. Also, it's written on stationery that says, From the desk of the interdimensional prince. Uh, well, I did think it was a very sweet touch of you to make me feel so at home. Vera turns to you. How do I get rid of him without starting a war? Wars are so expensive. Oh Why is she blushing so hard? Vera. You turn to the interdimensional no, prince and say, You know, oh, I, know I don't know. It yeah, does look like a... she's blushing. That's a hard uh, blush. He wants to get your help to get this guy away without spending too much money, and she's embarrassed about it. This dance to the drunken, paranoid monkey sauce. Oh god. Yeah, so it is not. Um... What the fuck? What the um... fuck? You're smart. Just, just fake him out. Grant. Yeah, I was that's say, true. You are one. real fucking smart. smart. Cause what would this one be? You think? This uh, will probably be like fun. Creativity. I, I think boldness or fun. So but, uh, if you want to be I'll smart, do there is no dance. yeah. Let's go with that one. I guess so that charming. was charming, which no. you also what? have. You're still mine. <laughs> what do you mean by that? This isn't a real dimension. Of course not. Do you think someone as gloriously beautiful and deadly and perfect as myself could possibly exist in real life? Fat chats. But, but, but I can't marry someone who doesn't exist. I've seen too many people try to do that already. Oh no. See, great. I mean, Zach, he's just trying to with, find his one true love, okay? With blow up dolls, <laughs> anime body pillows, their own hands. Ew. Oh, God. For the purposes of continuing the royal line of succession, as well as my own personal pleasure, I could not possibly. 
my beautiful, deadly, perfect fictional princess, I'm afraid our love is not to be. He gives up real easily. Oh dang, I'm so <laughs> disappointed. Perhaps one day we'll meet in an alternate alternate dimension, where we will either both be real or both not be real, and then finally we shall be star-crossed lovers and dimension across no longer. But for now, I must bid you adieu. I need to turn dimensional prince down real quick. Rift opens back up, and with one last look at Vera that causes him to burst into hysterical sobs, the prince jumps through the rift, which closes <laughs> behind him. This guy's hilarious. <laughs> you, then you date him. <laughs> There's a secret ending for that. Yeah, that's way too hard, Zach. You 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 at least have a possibility. Him, I do how you well, I think the cat girl is probably somewhat easier. I wonder if well, the cat girl's thing is literally just buy a bunch of stuff from her. <laughs> well played, Uzer Manuel. Who knew he'd be so easy to unhinge? Not that he wasn't pretty unhinged as it was. Anyway, glad he's gone. I'm free to keep dancing, and no one has to die whose death I hadn't already planned. You didn't hear that last part. <laughs> I owe you one. Enjoy the rest of the raid. I actually do have my invite. Oh, Grant! Maybe. Oh, is oh. this rave that she's inviting people? You wish that she meant that literally, because you would totally frame the invitation and keep it forever and ever and ever. Oh my wow. god, you simping? <laughs> Bro, I, I'm a tier gain, 3 sub. You may not gain a physical invite, but you do get plus 2 boldness plus 1 creativity. Oh my Yay. god! Sure. Okay, right, do I do want to bring so my... Boldness a bit up. Which one's boldness? That's, That's bathroom. A bathroom. Gym. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> Grant, that that, gym is apparently fucking charm. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about so that. So this one, yes, Saba? Uh huh. Yeah, so boldness. Yeah, I need it a little bit higher. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. Well, well you don't stop there. <laughs> I like how you're trying to sew your jacket, but it sews yeah, near Yeah, trying form. to do something productive. <laughs> so you want the whole world to know how reckless you are for the attorney, so you do some graffiti under the wall. No way. The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall. A deep voice resounds from within the walls and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. Maybe a and little bit. That sounds good. <laughs> oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, look at you. The writing's pretty good in this. God damn it. <laughs> We're going for the cat chick, Zach. It's fine. Zach, yeah, but I don't. Eat. But listen, it's not just good enough for me to get the person I want. I need to make sure you don't get the person you want. Ah, oh, get off my back, Zach. <laughs> Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I, as I was standing here, suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. <laughs> I had the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morn. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. We do have I other sports. <laughs> I was mistaken about how polo was conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. How was one even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? How, I ask? <laughs> Perhaps I offended them when I implied they were too impoverished to afford sea steeds. Yeah, that's correct. If so, why, I would love to make reparations. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them the gift of this omelette to begin the healing? I told them that peasants considered eggs to be a delicacy. I'm told that. I am told that. Gosh damn it. Um, obviously, and what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... Um, Chocolate covered sand crabs. I mean, <laughs> just... the the first one seems just like fun, and honestly, uh, I mean, I think I'll lose either way. The bottom so one, one seems like it could be blackmail. I was saying this one seems more. This one seems more in line with her personality. Yeah, <laughs> but this I one's like kind of money. Like the bottom one's better. Yeah. I like how many? How many characters? Flexible. How many characters are there? Because there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six? six of them. Are there yeah. six pairs of stats? Like unique that pairs. Just money, right? One, uh, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. No, this there's definitely fine. a lot more than that. I was just wondering if each of these characters had, like, two things that they cared a lot about. Because she there's, seems to care a lot about money and being a piece of shit. <laughs> there's there's different requirements to date each one, basically. 
Uh, okay, let's do the bottom one. I like the I like the because the top one just like add extra stuff. Well, she'll just be like, oh, just write a BS card and send it to them. It'll be fine. Ooh. Oh yes. That was How better to show that I am truly making an effort to get to know them on the most personal of levels. I shall do their names in beautiful calligraphy, print their fears in gold leaf, and I shall adorn their compromising nudes with adorable glitter stickers. I may have been misunderstood before, but how can anyone misinterpret this kind of gesture? Take that omelette, or take the omelette, and make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs so we can all remember how generous I was. With a oh. kiss on the cheek, <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hands, you mean, Ooh. Ooh. waves you on your Ooh. way you get plus two smarts and plus one charm. Oh Guys, God. I think I just need to go for smarts and charm by this point. I'm about to say, you're pretty, <laughs> you're pretty there. Wait, Where why to? is the library money? You'll find out if you go there. Wait, well, you're going glass sack, right? No, I'm no, you're going to third to last. I'm, I'm last. Oh, are you sure you don't want to try to get auditorium purse? But I don't have any money. There might still be that zero gift though. It yeah. might not be though. What if there's not? What if there's not? Then I go there and I literally waste everything. It's up to you. It's up I'm to gonna you. go How from, I'm gonna go for money because I'm going real hard for this goth cat. Sure, go for it. Adrian, I don't like you saying this. <laughs> then don't go for it, Zach. Do something else. Okay, I'll go for the library. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, no. That day you yeah, spent some time in the library and paid seeds, playing some good old <laughs> online poker. But you don't got no money to wager. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. You can who? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta keep yeah. going back. Everywhere it gets plus two of stat. Afterwards, Miranda beckons oh. you from a darkened corner. Oh, She's God. literally oh, everywhere. <laughs> Apparently. Co conspirator over here. Can we get the fucking sexy ghost back, please? <laughs> Phase one of Operation oh, Making God, Impossible leave me alone. Again was an overwhelming success. <laughs> Liam is internet popular. Now we just need to make him real life popular. And what better way that, than by making him prom king? Unfortunately, when I asked him to run for prom king, he said, and I quote, Never, 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 not in a hundred years, and that's not an exaggeration because I've been alive for a hundred years, and I've never run for prom king, so there you go. <laughs> Which was clearly his cryptic way of saying he wants us to make him prom king. My first thought was to murder the current prom king after establishing Liam as his rightful heir, but I couldn't find any bloodline charge to work from. So I suppose you must engage in this democratic election the school is holding. Democratic. <laughs> yep, democratic. She can't even say it, right? Now, how can we secure a win for Liam when he is opposed to running or making any effort to win? Uh... You know, I kind of... Ooh, I am charming as fuck. Pay a million people to vote for Liam for prom king. I, I don't mean, have. Did that before. I don't have the money to pass this check. I don't think so. I think I might do charming. I will say that uh, I'm starting to like Miranda more and more as this playthrough goes on. Honestly. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm into dumb people. Okay. She's not dumb. She's a piece of shit. She's dumb. I no, she's, I, I think would she actually put a lot of work into doing something, but it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I'll, I'll do this. She's okay. persistent. That's a great idea. You look just like him. Uh. You squeeze into some skinny jeans, suspenders, and a lot of purple paint and a sense of smug superiority, and gather a crowd in the auditorium. The ladies and gentle monsters, you say. For too long, our school has been ruled by prom kings who care about things. Caring about things makes you weak, because what if you care about the wrong things? <laughs> I, Liam Delandicourt, will never be wrong because I don't care about anything. I don't care about my dumb clothes or my stupid man bun or any of you. To be honest, I don't even care if I win. If I don't, I'll just blow up the school with, with the hydrogen bomb I buried <laughs> under the cafeteria. <laughs> wow. Uh, is, this a, is this a pass? Just casually. You walk off the stage without just thunderous, terrified applause. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't know whether it was the speech or the threat of extinction, but Liam wins by a landslide. Shots and curses. Ruma says I will be elected prom king in spite of my sincerest wishes. How horrible to have the love of the entire student body showered upon me. The cold blackness in my soul, which has so long sheltered me from my true emotions. Ugh, it's sawing. No! This is terrible, and I am no way enjoying it. Except Still, passion. I should probably pick up a tuxedo, you know, so as not to appear ungraceless. Gracious. 
You're happy to help Liam pick up his tuxedo. You even help measure his body. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Dude, my hey. I'm I'm so creative and charming, but I need money. <laughs> cool. I need Let's money for cat. Take me to the auditorium, hell yeah. Exactly. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. Listen, I got cash to burn and I want those stat bumps. Zach is missing the only stat that matters, money. <laughs> Good old Frankenstein, what's it gonna be today? This is not the same voice you just did. It's a must. It's know. a much worse voice. It was like a, it was like you a son of a monkey. bitch! You fucking lied. Well, actually, the only thing the only thing that's new here is the fucking tampon in this thing. Cocaine. The Regular the flavor. Cocaine. Cocaine. No, the penguin mask wasn't there last time. Where's the penguin mask? Top right. Oh yeah, you right. Yeah, so it does change. Yeah, but this was still here, you piece of shit. Uh, give me uh, fuck it, give me the present. I want to see the present. What's in the box? See, I'm trying to go based off of her voice too, Zach. Oh my god! Oh my god! I lost so much fun. Your fucking creativity, though. Holy shit! If you are so horrible, have wait. If you are... If you're so horrible, you have no friends, you can make- you can always make your own. Okay, that was just weird sentence that threw me off. Oh my god, I have no fun Can't anymore! Create. That sock puppet drained all my fun! Something happened Something to happened. Oozer Manual! Oh god. Oh. Okay, let's see what happened. Alright! All right. That night you head to Club Club with all your coolest friends, Liam, Polly, Vera, Frankie, Stein, and Risky. Risky? Have we haven't even seen that guy yet? Sorry, Deuce. Risky's me. Is it you? Oh. I named her Risky because I couldn't name her Risky Boots without copyright infringement. I thought it was literally because the one guy we haven't seen, his like whole oh, the demon is like red guy. colored. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I thought that. Unfortunately, when you get up to the front of the line, the bouncer and his massive club tell you that Vera and Polly are banned. What? Banned? <laughs> what? Just because last time we were here, I spiked everyone's drink with Chimera Toxin and then charged them all for the antidote. <laughs> Unfair! That was hilarious! It's not a crime if it's hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's how the law works! <laughs> well, don't just stand so, ladies. Seduce the bouncer. Use your wallet for the common good. Excuse you, since when is it my job to use my sexuality to get you into clubs? I totally would, but the last time I had sex with this bouncer, oh my god, with this bouncer, I turned into his dead mom partially, uh, through his, uh, as a joke, and I don't think he likes me. Oh my god. That's real fucked you up. You could listen to these three argue all night, but you'd rather do it while drunk, so suggest the most obvious candidate. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh what? Look at the other guy's stats, though. Grant, if you want. Wait, no, are you oh, fucking- are you, are you- are oh, you- fuck. are you suggesting that one of the two female characters needs to seduce the bouncer? I mean, it was, it was random. It was but... random, yeah. Yeah, it was random. And also, you gotta remember which- who- which of us has better stats, me or Zach? Who had good charm? Who had better charm? I, I, I want to say it was Zach. So, yeah. risky. I watched just watch the seduce the entire population of Lemuria from orbit. Fuck yeah, wow. dude. Oh, it paid oh, off. Oh yeah. Hey, wait, what's my charm? Oh yeah, Zach. Oh, no, it was the same. Oh. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah no. seven. I, I was looking at Sabas. Your plan is simple yet effective. You and Risk are each devastatingly sexy on your own. Fuck yeah. Let's so go, you Zach. Hoist, you hoist Risky. You hoist Risky on your shoulders and wrap the two of you in a trench coat, effectively doubling your sexiness. <laughs> The bouncer is speechless. He's never seen a monster so tall, leggy, or alluring. Also, the bouncer is an idiot. You get it, no problem. Let's go. I can't believe that actually worked. That trench coat isn't even designer. I must say, I appreciate your use of a weak strategy to accomplish your objective. Oliver and Liam are all extremely impressed by you and Risky and a little aroused. You both gain plus two charm, plus one, or plus two fun, plus one Hell charm. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Teamwork. I mean, hey, I get in the club too, because I was also in the group. Choose a brand. Pringles. Uh, uh Ferrero Rocher. Oh, so good. What? It's delicious! Absolute. 
What is absolute? Is that vodka? It's a vodka. Yeah, it's vodka. <laughs> The same brand. Okay, sure. sure. So Coca-Cola, Coca uh, Pringles, Absolute Vodka, and then Frere Rocher. Okay. Ah, uh, Frere Rocher. So how is likely this is such a brand? Secretly rules the world. Coca oh, Frito Lay oh, totally course. fucking rules the world. Yeah. Oh, so or Coca-Cola. Yeah, I think I do think Coca-Cola rules. Coca-Cola. Then I think it's uh, well. Pringles so, probably. I Pringles. I don't know. I feel like Pringles gets really undermined a lot. That's true. Why, Frere Rocher, dude? It's like a secret. You haven't? It? It's a delicious chocolate. Classy, <laughs> you know. It's it's like those delicious little orb chocs with the golden tinfoil wrapping. That have hazelnut inside. Oh, so yeah, they're shaped like little balls of chocolate. Classless heathen. All right. Uh. Uh, so wait, absolutely. I, mean, I, think... I don't know. I feel like. I think I... probably Pringles. I want. But it's like absolute vodka is very specific to like people who only just drink alcohol. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say Pringles. Yeah. Pringles I think probably I think third because chocolate, dude. I think that's fair, because, because, it it mines only for like third of. Dude, uh, Zach, for the sake of your de like delicious taste buds and like trying stuff, unless you can't have hazelnuts, Ferrero Rocher. It's like F E. You might want to type it. Uh, it's, it's. I think it's French. Like another link. It's spelled like foreign. <laughs> it's spelled foreign. I think. You have seen these. Aww. Okay. Alright, well, anyways, I think for Roche, I don't know, I think uh, it's possible, I think it's even personally. I, I'm willing to go for it. Sure. Okay. Back at school again, baby. You need more money, right? Uh. You going for fun? Oh, that's the shop now. Sure, go for it. Hey, stranger. Hat girl. Hat stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can to look at my stuff. Well, yeah, I'm going based off of what she does. It's been a whole week. The present's there. Congratulations. Okay, Zach, I will tell you right now. The tampon does oh, not still, give you any present. stats, and it only gives you penalties. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 the, the tampon is a quest item. For what? Present. Probably. For what, Adrian? If we're not going to go for it, tell me. It's a quest item for Vera. Anyways. Okay. You'll, you can find out later, but uh, it's not important right now. It's in the box. I know the composition is not that great, and the color palette lacks depth, but for you, it's a gift. You didn't get any stats. It's okay, you got a cute pick. I... I a little cute. And I it's can't... a gift from her, technically. Fucking, because Zach went to the shop, I can't go outdoors and get fun anymore this turn, damn it. Uh... I think fucking Saba's the only one who's gonna get a prom date. Probably. Because <laughs> we haven't <laughs> seen the people we want to go for since, I'm... like... Week one. Well, the cat is more like a side Take, one, though, take right? me to class. Take me to class. I might as well bump up my next lowest stat. Take me to class. Class. What was here? That day you learn a ton of spells that are all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew sticker stickiness. Oh, I like that. I want that. Into vanilla, ice cream into vanilla, chocolate, into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. A spell to gain that? plus two smarts. That's good. What do you mean? You actually use that last spell and you gain plus two smarts. Gamer. Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the. Why do we fly. always see Liam? <laughs> Liam's everywhere. everyone does. I think. Thank you, Stein. What are you doing? Liam's trying to tell us something, Grant. I stalking classmates for romantic purposes <laughs> and offending Rab and offering Raz absurd advice. But he does seem like a tsundere, so are we sure he's not doing this on purpose? Magnificent! I could do some Raz absurd, absurd advice. 
I was exchanging messages with a v with a rare koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clinging, and I'm being clingy is my seventh biggest turn off. Fight okay. between sarcasm, literacy, and actually being a pickle and not a person. <laughs> His pickle, Liam. Sorry. The postmodern protocol dictates for me just to ghost him and never talk to him again. But that's horrible, and I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam. Handsome, mysterious, yet a true gentleman. But neither do I want emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. So I've settled on just sending a bunch of emojis and then never text him again. That should do it, right? He sounds like a person that should be named Vlad. That's what the his voice is. feels like. How can I convey this complex no. way of sentiments to Vlad, friendly I'm language like emojis? Take it like that. It's just how you say Vlad. It goes down. It gets deeper as you say. This is your name. time. Show Liam you excel at complex sentiments. So we might someday feel like sharing them with you. <sighs> this one. Right, I like the bottom one, but I'm not gonna hang on. Let me think for it. Uh... Carrie's here. Hi, Carrie. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna Where? go with the top one. I think that's creativity. Yeah, Welcome, so. Carrie, to the audience chair. Mm -hmm. Starring oh, Thank you. What? It's a sock puppet, man. That's so nuanced. Let's send it right now. He's texting me back. Let's see. Liam, even if it hurts my heart, I understand how you feel. Maybe you're right. Maybe we sh used to be like a croissant, and now we're just a school bus. That's so deep and meaningful. Maybe we should sh now do a shooting stars do and look for the trumpet to our crocodile. Farewell, my purple shooting star. What the <laughs> fuck? No <laughs> more overly attached Vec Vala, I can still have a clear conscience. I must admit, your emoji poetry has touched my soul. You're an artist, and the smartphone is your gentle harp. He's getting all poetic about it. Maybe one day you could show me your feelings through delicate emojis too. Are we sure oh. Liam just doesn't want everybody here? You were basically so nervous that he selected a bunch of emojis at random, but hey, it worked. Sweet. And who knows? Maybe Liam is a trumpet to your crocodile. You're he fucking crazy. Creativity. I got 20 creativity! Holy too fun. <laughs> Man. Hell yeah. All right, dude. Here, I'll go for I'll go for creativity. That's the auditorium, to left. <laughs> that I day while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. <gasps> I got a bad snack. But afterwards, after talking to your classmates, you're having trouble <laughs> conveying your point in a discussion, so you decide to convey it through music. You start singing and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. Wow, impromptu musicals? It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. Wow. Yeah, it just you didn't <laughs> think you would for a second there. Wow, they, they're just like... Oh, oh my god, Saba. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this I game's don't... bullshit. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Alas and alack a day. Miranda throwing a hissy fit? Must be Tuesday. Still, what else are you gonna do? Study? Nah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm simply enduring the most horrible injustice to happen to anyone ever. All the time, apparently. You shan't believe such cruelty could happen at our own school. But just today, Mrs. The Loch Ness Monster told me that I shall be receiving a B-plus in her class. A B-plus. And all because I seldom attended. Does she not understand the importance of my daily royal manicures? Such a horrid grade will surely cause my father to cease paying for my seahorse insurance as punishment. And then how shall suitors call upon me? Oh, the tragedy! If only someone knew a way I could, I don't know, perhaps, break into Principal Giant Spider's <laughs> office, access his private computer, and alter my grade. I think the staff is more interesting. I'm about to say, I want to, I want to see Principal Giant Spider. I don't Maybe. think more in stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you do. The top one is better for me. Which in one? In terms of the stuff I'm good at, the top one, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, smart. Ooh, smart. My ladies in waiting are expert lace makers. I'm sure they shall have no problem dropping everything in order to detain a variety of bugs. 
Indeed, they don't, or are too terrified to object, and they create a sticky, gooey web. The principal giant spider emerges to gorge on dung beetles that still smell of shit, which is apparently a thing spiders like, I guess. You and Miranda sneak into his office and using spills you learned in Cyber Terrorism 101, hacking the files in no time. Oh, sounds cool. Oh, look at that. I have an A+. Plus. I guess I underestimated my own amazingness. I am very surprised by this development. Like, this is bullshit because Saba gets the person that she actually wants, and then Adrian has the option of going with Liam. <laughs> Zach and I are desperately searching for our fucking people. Wait, I for- wait, they I for- for each other at this Yeah, point. I'm about to say, fuck it, yeah. you wanna just date each other? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. If that's an option, yeah. hell yeah. drive with top secret school security footage, no reason. That's an option in the sequel they're planning, but not in this game. Damn it. Fuck. That oh seems on the god. level. Definitely don't ask me follow-up questions. Just game plus three charm would be cool. Oh my god. We're yeah, so I'm being very smart and... Yeah. Library for money, gym for charm, or bathrooms for boldness. Fucking... Uh... Jim, maybe Scott's there. <laughs> the character you want. That day at Epic Dodge will not take place, but the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. <laughs> You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your classmates. What is this, Haikyuu? Oh Haikyu? my gosh, let's see who it is. Yeah. Please, please, Scott. He's totally mad surprised. It's the most epic wink ever. Please. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts. I swear to God, it's Liam. <laughs> Well, warning, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. <laughs> oh no, it's literally only because we're seeing. <laughs> oh my god, the stalker is back. You <laughs> <laughs> follow my finger prince. and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals facing away from me. He looks like a creep. What the fuck? He's is it, is it, angel. Is it just Hermes? He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out in that mirrored shield he has, but I totally do. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking what's his face? That's hilarious. Sergius? Such a yeah. chore being this beautiful all the time. How am I ever gonna get rid of him? Just turn him into stone. That's what you did. Uh, he looks Greek. Why oh, not bribe She tried. Him. She failed. Oh dang! I like the bottom one. That's kinda, that's probably too. money though, right? Maybe. Or what's charm, threatened? maybe. Three to three to damsel to a sea monster. I mean, that would distract him. I, f I feel like that's bold. So I'm gonna go with the bottom one. Okay. Okay. Nope. Oh, not wealthy enough. Oh, fuck. it is money. You failed the first challenge so far. I'm about to say that's the first challenge Shit. failed. You might as well with, just kill yourself. With all the yeah. money left in your bank, you go to the liquor store and buy a 40 ounce of King Cobra and some Pez. But wait, isn't it it's okay. Out. This is not who you wanted, Grant. Anyway. Yeah, you but he doesn't get any bonus lot. stats. And look up expectantly yeah. at the sky. Lightning strikes. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Twice. Nice. Good god. I'd rather take my chance with a stalker than slum it with a poor person who doubles as a lightning rod. What are you talking Vera? about? That would repel Because you do all your money at the liquor store, you don't have any oh! money. Oh! Two no. gold is one money. So Fuck. I legitimately just thought that, that you would just gain nothing. I didn't realize that you'd fucking lose stats. Yeah. That's, That's nuts. Zach, want to go to prom? <laughs> Bruh, if we have the... It, we can spiritually go to prom. Fuck. Everybody Everyone choose the food. Sandwiches. Ooh, a mojito. I like mojito. Uh, I want baked mac and cheese. Oh, that's also pretty good. Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence is not a food. You cannot <laughs> eat Lawrence. I can try. Um, I don't fucking know. Uh, rice. Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, so. Coca Cola. So, you know, bake, oh, bake mac and cheese sandwich, rice, and then Lowe's. Don't You're just gonna bring it just because you want some our Coca Cola. Last, our last exactly. round's answers, too. Those are food as well. Saba, what were you choosing again? <laughs> what did I say? Mojito. Mojito. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, we have. Okay, how oh, plausible it shows for your vehicle for government control. I mean. Well, for government control. I mean, a I mean... sandwich <laughs> is like the ultimate. Sandwiches, sandwiches are really generic, but yeah. yeah, that's how you that's how you sneak like the mind control bits into them. I fucking <laughs> into what I, the I, my internet bread? cut out. What's the conversation? What's the what? So you just my, read my the internet cut right? out. We just barely started talking about it. We started saying maybe sandwiches because sandwiches are very common. Yeah, sandwiches oh, okay. are super common. I think I think sandwiches is number one from the list. I could probably agree with that to be honest. But Lawrence. <laughs> you didn't say Lawrence. You picked. Uh, I did. Pick rice. You picked rice. You wouldn't, you wouldn't rice let me pick Lawrence. Pretty good, actually. 
you can put a lot of like I think, rice. I th yeah, but I think because because like sandwiches are like universal. Whereas, like, I feel like rice are like tr traditionally like. Mexican. What rice is actually, no, it isn't. Right, rice, rice is, rice is, rice is pretty much okay. a staple everywhere in the world that's not the I don't think U.S. Rice is more okay, than okay, sandwiches. here, 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 I'll say, I'll say this, okay? I feel like rice might be more common, but I feel like it'd be easier to sneak stuff into sandwiches. Mm, I don't know, no, because you, you can just put stuff into the water that the rice is boiled in, or steamed in, whatever. I don't know, you, I there's so many more components to sandwiches if you do that with. Yeah, yeah, but you, you said add a easier. Lot of stuff to rice too, Adrian. All, all, all rice isn't just plain white rice. You got brown rice. I have a quick question. Rice. I have a yes. quick question. Yes. Which, which government is doing this? America. Yeah. Monster TV. government. The, all of them. the monster government yeah. shit. Well, I don't know then. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I kind of want to say. I kind of want to say rice is number one. I do probably agree with that. Like, All like right. I, I would say rice, then sandwiches, then mac and cheese, and then a fucking yeah, mojito. Then my, my, yeah. I'll, <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll submit. I'll say rice. I'll say I'll give it. I'll give it to rice. Rice is rice definitely more like... common than sandwiches, mac and cheese, and then that. Yeah, that seems sure. You said baked mac and cheese specifically too. Yes. That's fancier, but it's still freaking delicious. It's still pretty good. All right, where to? So. Oh, who the hell is this? Do you yeah, want who, to tell who you the who fuck is that? that is. There's also Who's a this? lion up there. There's your lion, Zach. So I, I can I tell you who each of these characters is. That was Adrian. Adrian, there's your lion. But the, it was Scott and Vera. In the middle. Oh, there in you the go. Middle. Sorry, I didn't even realize it was a middle. Watching Vera eat is usually pretty distracting. Her, sna her snakes eat at the same time she does. But at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Go lefty. Go left mouse. No, no watch for the wiggles coming up from behind. Use that tongue. Go. Ugh, he does this every week or so whenever my snakes need a meal. He seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. Also, I don't think he realizes that an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays to do this. <laughs> he keeps track of each snake statistics in a little index card. He's even given them names. I love okay. Scott. Go Slither, go Bendy, go Sanchez, go Snake Snake. Snake Snake. <laughs> Those aren't their names. God, no matter how much he pays for the tickets, it, it isn't enough. This seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how, by like opening your mouth and yelling. <laughs> snake, <laughs> snake, 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 eat that food and stay awake. Snake, yeah. You are absolutely uh, doing that, I'm assuming, right? Cause, absolutely. Because that is 100% Scott. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> that's the spirit. Get your head in the game, Sanchez. Fucking Vera head, or are they just hates you. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. Whoa, check it out. Bendy's been behind all season with a record low BMI. That's body mass index. The index is because I wrote it on this index card. But now she's hungry for. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> my internet cut out. She's yeah, hungry she's for victory. Hungry let's for go, victory. Bendy. Let... Okay, let's Dude, go, Bendy. All of that glory. The snakes really do seem to enjoy having an audience. They're really hamming it up, or should they be snaking it up? Your wild cheering motivates Bendy to really go all out. She tries to grab the mouse out of Lefty's jaws, but the two end up tearing it in half. <laughs> ah, my scalp! It'll take my snake charmer hairdresser hours to get all these organs out. Ew. Oh, major foul on Benny there. She's gonna be out for the rest of the season. Damn right she is. I'm having her muzzled. And her name is Spirulina. Oh. By the time Vera's cleaned up the blood and run off, you've made plans to meet with Scott to watch the next match. Nice. I don't know. I think it's going pretty well for you, Grant. I will say, I guess you're doing pretty okay. <laughs> That's the second time I've met I'm, him, though. <laughs> I gotta say, the Slayer and Liam at the same table is pretty good. I'm go gonna go there. It. Oh, boy. You've just sat down to eat lunch with Damien and Liam. Well, to eat with Damien. Liam should take a picture of his food. Again? Maybe. When a leather-clad figure drops from the air vent onto your table, it's the Slayer. Look, Prepare to die! To die. <laughs> time to die. God, I love her voice line. She's so... She's really... Is she a student? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe? No. <laughs> Zach, do you want to take Damien? What's his voice? Or do you want let's let like He's angry. for someone He's else to hear? That's not Adrian. This is this is very uncool. 
<laughs> what? I, I don't know. You don't have any voices that much. Guys, I... we also have two people here who don't do anything except watch. You can ask them to. All right. Do they want to involve themselves? Lawrence, Carrie, do you want to take Damien? Sure. No, I'll take. Uh... Carrie, do you want the Slayer? Sure, I'll take the Slayer. Okay. Eight, I'll take Lawrence, you, take Lawrence you have Damien. This always happens when we sit together. You gotta do something angrier than that. Look at his face. Bro, dude, I got. <laughs> oh, Lawrence, since you just finished the show, baby. do fucking uh, uh, what's his name? Lucas, Please. from Tom. Star. Tom Lucidor. Yeah, Tom. There you go. That's just angsty team. Yes. Go for this it. always happen when we sit together. Your dead faced ret rhetoric is offensive. Don't spoil my food pick. Oh, I'll spoil more than your food picks, Count Stankula. I'm about to spoil your Dang. face. <laughs> now she's just like, like a that. shitty person. <laughs> <laughs> just his though, right? Both your faces. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> the Slayer is right between the three of you. You can't save Lee, Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might be able to save one. Who are you going for, Adrian? Oh. Uh... <laughs> don't don't immobilize me. I'm gonna immobilize. With the Lord's okay, I'm immobilizing game with the Lord's player while William escapes. Wait, what is this one? <laughs> I flip the table for justice. Does that even do anything? I'm I'm doing the top one. It doesn't matter. You launched a hearty rendition of Our Father. You've done this loads of times. Dang. It's not that the prayer is any kind no. of magical effect on Damien. He just can't resist criticizing it. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, he's not our father. I got two dads, and none of them is a holy asshole in the stupid cloud list. And thy kingdom come? What's that supposed to mean? Are we like praying for the end of the world now? <laughs> sure, beg, <laughs> beg him for your daily bread. What? Are you in prison or something? You're an, uh, bleh, your omnipotent dad can't spring for better food than bread. But if you got a gluten allergy, do you still have to eat the daily bread? <sighs> this is ridiculous. While Damon continues to rave, Liam snaps a few more art flicks of his lunch and then carries it to another table. What the fuck? He didn't even, didn't even escape! <laughs> he just left! <laughs> Are you done? Wait, does she not have a nose? <laughs> yeah, she does. It's in there. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Almost. I I have a whole bit about the multiple papal revisions that's really fucking vicious. Close enough. Eat holy water. You can't eat liquid, it's- ah. Demon has a hard time forming any more iconoclastic opinions when his flesh is on fire. He flees the cafeteria and you retreat to sit at Liam's table. Now that he's done taking pictures of his food, he's even let you have some. This has been a real bonding experience. This is- Oh yeah. Alright, so, I now have the opportunity to go for Ghost Chick. However, <laughs> Saba has the ability to go for whatever the Brad mermaid Brad again I want to. so i will once again go for cat for you don't you don't you don't want to go for, you want to go to the cat guy no or i don't have I, i'm tony not interested in cat guy i'm not okay. i'm not uh terrence fuck okay. tony the tiger i'm not gonna fuck tony the tiger all right oh <laughs> i'll buy it no well you don't have to buy it everything or anything right? fuck a peasant i mean wait did she call me a peasant I, I, I'm calling. I'm calling you a peasant. How are you supposed to earn money? There are events that give you money. You just haven't. We just haven't run into any of them. I'm about to say we've run into none. Also, the library gives you money. Or, no, we've hey, Adrian, can I ask you a question? Money as a, what? Like a... Is it so? I'm. I'm assuming that the secret thing to get her, to date the cat shopkeeper is to buy like X number of items. Is that true or no? No. It is not, so I can just skip this. Yeah. <sighs> this is bullshit. I will say that uh, the game's replay a lot of comes in that you can unlock stuff by doing certain run certain ways. Uh, and a lot of the stuff you'll want to see. What do you mean, fine? You want to go fucking Tony Tiger? Oh, no, it's okay. Fuck <laughs> Tony the Tiger, Saba. You ravage your know, table he's, to find he's the pretty great. You ravage your table to find the coven eating and Paul and Miranda screaming. What the fuck is the coven? My God. We're under attack! Alarm! Alarm! Summon the guards! Who the fuck are these? Also, she's coven. Also, she thick. That's the coven. They're using their bizarro mind powers on me! The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. She's... 
She uses useless shades, just like me, clearly because of the evil twin thing. Who's gonna do the coven? We need three different people to do this. I, I, ain't, I ain't doing this. So no one. I'm fine, I'll do it. Wait. What? I don't, fuck, I don't know. Grant, do you want to step up instead? No, I was gonna suggest Lawrence or Carrie because they only have uh, one speaking. Lawrence, role. Carrie, do you want to take oh, Coven? We should do it at the same time. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. We're, We're not, not attacking, attacking anyone. anyone. <laughs> We're, We're eating. eating. What do you what mean? What do you mean less attractive? Less attractive. Perfect. Like Pretty good. This is awful. Lies. Subterfuge. Ah, I can feel them in my brain, making me less cool and sexy. Ah. <laughs> oh, they do literally all talk at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Every, Every single, single lunch, lunch hour. hour. You can't tell all your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish menace. Drawing the food. Joust. So I'm I assuming this. Joust them, yeah. Yeah. Joust. You slap a colander on your head, a big chin on your chest, and a jousting glance under your arm. My hero, charge, vanquish the invaders. Oh god. Alright. Okay. Oh man. Three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa hey. hey. You don't we don't want, want any people. trouble. We'll, we'll just, just move, move over there. there. They have the delightful children from down the lane? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Victory! The day is saved! Oh, Valentry fought noble champion! Whoa. Whoa! Did those three just disintegrate to a pile of turtles, or am I just super high? You think that question pretty much answers itself. How are you high? You're a ghost! High as fuck! That's pretty high. <laughs> how, how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse? I vote for myself one number one. I don't know. I think I would die pretty quickly. I have no practical skills whatsoever. I think it's I'm a, pretty. It's a competition there. on who dies. I think first let's then. be honest. Who everyone's just gonna die real fast. So I mean, about so I'm about to say we're all gonna so, die in the first hour. But who? So so is my question is time. is that as as you know Grant and Lawrence know because we've had this conversation, I will fight tooth and nail to the point where I would sacrifice other people before I die. Yeah, Zach's gonna be last. I'm about so to say. Last. Well, no. My question is, does that actually Actually, mean I die sooner because I am so fervently trying not to die. No, you die no. in the no. season. No, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. Okay, so who dies yeah. first then? I don't know. It'd be probably between me and Adrian because apparently Adrian also. Yeah, says. Adrian, I have no practical Adrian skills. is pretty useless. Yeah. Saba is physically myself. smaller than me, but I have yeah, no practical I'm skills whatsoever. My own turfs. Yeah, I'd kill myself. Like. Like Saba, do you have any practical skills <laughs> you... in the apocalypse? Grant, I, I walk into the. Think so. <laughs> Grant, I, I walk into the. the uh, I walk thing. into the apartment in zombie makeup, and you're like, I knew it. Bang, and you shoot yourself. <laughs> no, it's just like, Zach it's knows like... how much I okay, want to so, die. So wait, so wait, Grant. The zombie apocalypse is starting. Like, like grab the gun for the zombies. No, for us. <laughs> for so wait, me. so wait, Grant. You would, Bang. you would deliberately off yourself quickly to try to get out of having to suffer it, right? Wait, does that Probably. mean he's first? Then? So I think that means I, because I wouldn't want to die. Like, I wouldn't want to kill myself. I'd want to survive, but I don't think I'd be very good at it. Sometimes. No, I'd probably kill myself. I wish I, so, I wish I could put Grant as first, me as fourth, and then randomly pick one of you two, because I feel like that's how it would go. Okay, okay so, so so Grant goes I first. I actually then. do agree Grant goes first, if he's just going to off himself. Oh, yeah. you know you know what? I have a D10 here. Uh, Adrian, you'll be the evens, and Saba will be odds. Sure. That's a six, so it would be Adrian would die next. This one's Adrian, and then... Apparently yep. I survived longer than I think, then. <laughs> nice. Sure. Well, no, that was literally random. We're almost oh, at prom, yes, boys. We're There's almost at prom, chance. and that took the entire stream. <laughs> Alright. No, there's no cat! <laughs> well, it's no. okay, now you can no! see the same as you. Fucking bathroom? No, oh, wait. Uh, you, what does each one do again? You need boldness, which would be bathroom. Fuck. What does each one do? Uh, or you could double up and go on something you already got a lot of. That is true. That's true. Uh, let's go to class. Class sure. would be smarts. Yeah, let's go to class. That day you are astonished by some new stuff you learned in class. Look at your little shadow guy there. Yeah. Wow. You thought high school was all about doing stupid shit with friends and trying to find true love. 
would have thought that class could actually be useful. What a nice surprise. I like your little shadow guy. You gave him plus one some... valuable lesson. <laughs> Good luck trying to use that in the game. And plus two smarts. <laughs> I love plus one valuable lesson. That's pretty good. You see Vera looking at her phone. Vera! <laughs> She's obviously pissed. He decided to go talk to her. Leave me alone. <laughs> Another dick pic. I mean, I know that's what you've got to expect when you look as stunning as I do all the time, but still. Not fond of dick pics. Not at all. What are guys gonna learn? Dicks look gross. A picture of your dick is not a treat for me. I'm not gonna frame it and put it on my wall. God, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put in a folder called Sad Lose and then delete the folder, and I'll probably set the phone on fire just in case. Hey, you're pretty unpleasant, right? Let me figure out what to say to this guy who stopped sending me. Whole soul stop trying to make me look at his wiener. Uh, go for burn. Sorry, but I'm having a hard time. Oh my god. Fuck. Destroy his life. Photoshop. Photoshop? I don't know what these were. I, I mean, mean, I think she would be more into destroying his. Oh, life. this would this would definitely because it's the become make a joke of him and become rich because she's business oriented. Oh, you're totally oh. right. Right, but yeah, she's we'll also vicious. Like, this cruel, might also though. be bold. Grant. The top, I mean, the top one is viciously cruel though, which she also. I think I think this is I think this is creative to be honest. Yeah. So we'll be. go with that. The bottom one. Oh. Fuck. Oh. So your Why solution for this. Seven? is for me to make a career out of it. Yes. <laughs> you do realize you're basically making it so I'll have to spend the rest of my life depending on this fool's dick. And if getting lucky doesn't send me anymore, I need to start asking for them. I would be financially married to this dude's dick. Does that sound good to you, genius? No. I think be it's my... literally only because it's Vera that you're losing these, Be my right? guest, go marry his dick yourself. Fucking bullshit. Oh, that definitely backfired. Next time, let's try not to mix dicks and kids. It doesn't really Shit. Start You lose fun and creativity. Yeah, like I said, we're we're at the second to we're at the last event, so the so the so the challenge is really hard now. Uh, Shit sucks. I'm gonna go to the uh... take me outside. Take me to the tree for fun. Take me to the tree. I want to go outdoors. That looks pretty that day, fun. That day during recess. You also, why is her out. butt exploding? She's uh, shaking. She's bumping. It. Start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Everything is fine till Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. <laughs> what? I didn't see cat. Damn, you didn't remember you <laughs> suck at Juan, the small magical Latino. We decided to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. Hey. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka all together. It's party to remember, you gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell, you, to tell your grandkids someday. I feel like that's a reference and I don't get it. Afterwards, Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. Liam's After considering crazy. thoughts, I've come to the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. And seeing as I could use a partner for my tragically hip late night excursions, consider yourself invited. Tonight, 3am. I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming with a pro appropriately underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool place to go to or anything. I just want to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. The advantage is in a cloud of mists and <laughs> angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. It's fucking 3 p.m. and people are having a rave? <laughs> I mean, it looks up. dark people. outside. That's all that matters. People are crazy. Ah, Earth's, Earth's core. core. <laughs> Earth's core. <laughs> I feel like the bottom one's bold. I think it's also slightly creative. What do you think this one is? In my mind. I think the top one might be fun. Then you'll probably lose. <laughs> probably, fuck. So you should probably know. go with bold. Uh, no, this it. one <sighs> This one might be creative. In which case you That's what got I'm it saying. on. You, got, you fucking got it. I'm either going to win gloriously or fail spectacularly. Uh, You're going let's this. go. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, I mean, you have a better chance, I think, of the bottom one, maybe. Fuck it. The hottest, most underground nightclub, the Earth's Core. Oh, but, uh, go with that one. Oh, oh God damn it, I knew it! <laughs> that well, night, you pick you up the, the top one, Adrian, though? In, <laughs> probably not. In your giant mechanized drill machine, I'd head for the club. But there is no club at the center of the Earth. It's just the center of the Earth, a golden ball of iron and death. You made it there? Ugh, my skin! Why did you think there was a club here? 
Why would anyone think there was a club at literally the most inhospitable place on earth? <laughs> Wait, I it. like these are both these are both bullshit. Like like I know it's like a fail condition and a pass condition. Cause like if you had passed, there absolutely would have been the fucking most exclusive club in the world. And then like with the Vera thing, if Grant had just passed the check, she would have been like, oh yeah, I'll make millions. Thanks, <laughs> babe. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Bullshit. Grant, this no is bullshit. What, all these, what, all like, these characters are stupid. You have no idea yeah. why you thought that. But you do Let's know just go to prom to together, together, Zach. You lose two smarts and one boldness. I'm definitely just going to prom with you because everything else is stupid. Um. I guess either fun or boldness, unless you want to boost your creativity. I mean, or... maybe I could also just go for money. But why? There's, you're not gonna have a chance to spend anything after this. The, the night after this is prom. Fine, it's just. It's... Prom I guess tomorrow? we can go for bold. And the prom's tomorrow. Boldness again. If you went for boldness, I would probably... Like, if you don't go for boldness, I'd probably go for boldness. Okay, just let me go to boldness then. Ha, <laughs> fool. Not realizing that I'm just going to... I mean, that's what I was going to go with anyway. Respect your authority. Go on the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. Pretty bold. That watch cycle would instantly give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking yourself in the mirror. What's more than that? You know what? You can keep plus two bonus anyway for staying yourself to that out loud. So, the, some of this writing's pretty good. <laughs> pretty funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my word! What a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day! I hope someone can share in my joy. How the my fuck great... does she find you? <laughs> <laughs> my great aunt sea monster on holy terror. McCracken face, face oh Cthulhu! Cthulhu. <laughs> I've just took an award for her work with shipwrecks. What the fuck? She's now one of their leading causes. I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the postal service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive missive. Missive? Yeah, missive. Why is a letter of congratulations so time-sensitive, you ask? Well... Uh, it's, it's because of... Well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to do something congratulatory for herself, you know. Just get her the letter. There's something fishy about the request, but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. Scoop! Okay, it's literally. Scoober do. So this one's money. <laughs> oh, that is money. This one's oh, probably I'm, boldness. Yeah, which I'm. You're better on boldness than money. Yeah, that's true. That'd be but really funny if, like, that'd be really funny if, like, it is. no, this one, no, this one's definitely money because it's hiring okay. somebody, right? I'm gonna lose regardless. It, yeah, it might be charm to get them to do it for you, but probably money. It's probably but money. It's higher. Yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I would like to see like the characters that we're trying to date. I'd love to see their stats where like, uh, fucking her money is like infinite. <laughs> 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 so yeah, which so which bottom one? one? Bottom one. Dive in the sewer. Bold, see? You got oh, it. Oh, yeah. man. to get it. If you what want that's low though. You guys had hot like higher stuff than me. Well, cuz it's a dice it's a dice roll, right? That's how it works. But no. um But uh Saba, you just got me an achievement for being uh for passing every single skill check. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. So fuck yet, you. I'll take if, my achievement and money if you want. If you want something done right, and there's absolutely no way to pawn off to someone else, do it yourself. You grab the stick of dynamite you won from Damien in a game of multiplayer solitaire and head to the bathroom. What? <laughs> from an environmental standpoint, it's probably not great that the school sewer system leads directly to the heart of the ocean. But it's great for your purposes. You swim all the way to the lair of the great aunt sea monster unholy terror in the kraken face of Cthulhu. Who, you must admit, looks fantastic for a beast of her certain number of centuries. You give her a letter and crawl back up the toilet before you can find out what she needs by stay for dinner. A few mm. days later, you see the fruits, dinner, of your labor. Thank you so much for getting my letter to Aunt Sea Monster. She said she would act on it immediately. Act on the congratulations that I sent by thanking me, which she did. So it's all over and neatly wrapped up now. Nothing further happening here. Okay. Yep, seems entirely legit. Glad you swam down the toilet for whatever totally above board operation is going on here. You gain two charm and one boldness. Bullshit. This game is bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I have so Stupid. much charm by this. This is terrible game. Oh Wait, I can't go to class! 
to. Fuck it. Where I'll get more go? charm. Okay, sure. Wait, because what's this? That's creativity. That's, that's creativity. creativity. I'm just going to fucking boost. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. That's an epic dog home backstage place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. <laughs> the player bursts into tears and takes the advantage of that moment's weakness, throwing a, throwing a ball at him. You lose five Yo! mercy. Wait, I want to date the skeleton! Sequel. Listen now, you gain two charm. <laughs> Dang, I can't even see all of them, but uh, that's pretty cool. This is a fucking skeleton, I want to date him. I want to date- They'll get him! Scott strolls by, happily munching on something. Liam gapes at him, appalled. What the what? fuck? Oh no. What on earth are you eating, Scott? Grant, Scott's trying to- or Zach trying to take Scott away from you. This delicious new flavor of Fangles potato chips. Maximum ultimate double barbecue massacre. Really? Because it looks like a vast of goat's leg inside a cardboard tube. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it does. Could have sworn it was potato chips. Still tasty, though. Tasty? Tasty? Does Vantan environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know. Is that a kind of jerky? No, Scott. Don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, Fangles and Cole decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? But what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Nothing. It's a horrendously wasteful practice. Really? That sounds like the fucking uh, Ultra Corp or whatever from Scooby Doo. <laughs> uh, Destroido. Destroido, thank you. Oh no, all those poor headless goat bodies running around and bumping into things, we have to stop them. Wait, really? I was just trying to make you feel guilty. I didn't actually have a plan of action. But if someone were to suggest fun. <laughs> just like a true social justice warrior. Oof. Uh. Oh my god, <laughs> assemble an army of vengeful undead goat torsos. That's probably I... creativity, right? I think that might be smarts. What, this one? Yeah, to like, to like, animate them? Well, creativity or charm... Writing... Well, no, because I would say writing an extremely mean blog post is probably smart, isn't it? I think that one... I think that one's probably charm. I think that's bold. I, I think you're know. trying to sabotage me. I, I genuinely don't know. Do whatever, then. Uh... Because, like, being extremely mean doesn't sound charming. Well, I mean, you're persuading... I don't know, maybe. It's like I'm charisma, do this. I guess. No, I'm not smart enough! <laughs> Ah yes, necromancy is the ultimate tool in the protest of Arsenal. You dig out your abominations against Nature 101 text, but you get to work. But soon... Why are all the goats running around into walls and trees and each other? Because they don't have heads, Scott, or eyes. Somehow our friend here didn't take that into account. Damn it. Why did you let her do it if you knew it wasn't gonna work? For the lols, Scott. For the lols. I still like the idea of it. The walls were at your expense, literally. Fangles sues you for unlicensed necromancy. You lose two money and one smarts. Well, I mean, that's not that spend. bad, I guess. I guess I'm poor as fucking dirt because I decided to buy two items. Yeah. And one of them didn't even cost you money. Um, oh, who are you asking? So this is... Wait, Zach. so who is this? You can't this ask is, me. Uh, it's Grant. Damn it. So Scott. you want Scott. You could probably Please. get Scott. Ask Scott to prom? Yes. I'm right. assuming you want Liam? I mean, I kind of... Yeah, I want Liam. Of course I want Liam. Wait. I want to date him. None of none them? None of them. Yeah, that's an option. You can choose to go with none of these options. Oh! Ah. Well, that's probably Shit. my. That's probably going to be me yeah, then, because I didn't get yours. anybody. I'm going with Liam. I'm going to ask Liam to prom. He's probably going to say no, because he doesn't care about anything. You already know by this point, Seth. Vera. <laughs> Vera. If, it's, if it doesn't happen, dang, I'm... Well... <laughs> Cause like now I want Polly, but I didn't do anything with Paul. I was I was trying to get with fucking Cat Girl. Wait, uh, Adrian, is it determined now if he could have gotten with the Cat Chick or not? No. No. So it, like, Adrian, say, Adrian, you know? Adrian's Adrian's fucking irritating me. <laughs> Risk, you, listen, you didn't, you didn't. There's like an entire quest you have to do to get with her, and you didn't do any of it basically. So what the fuck? How? You have to unlock it by playing this game. Oh, what the fuck? Then why'd you tell me that there was an option oh, to date her? I said it was a secret ending. Yeah, I thought it was like, oh, you buy stuff. I didn't Whatever, say that. I'm going with no one. Okay. Let's yeah. see how these just like out. my Just like my real prom. Oh, <laughs> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Huh? Prom? I don't know. 
I mean, you're so out of shape. Fuck. <laughs> you don't even have any shape. You're a blob. I am formless, Scott. My grandma always says I need to mate with an alpha specimen so we can breed strong babies. Sorry. No! Oh, Actually, we couldn't get a date for the rest wow. of your life. Oh my god. Grant, we should just date each other. I, that's what I'm saying. This Some bullshit. nights, alone in your bed, you wish sadness was an STD because at least then you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't be getting so much of it. <laughs> that's fucked up. Alright, so these next two are definitely successes, obviously. If this obviously. doesn't happen, oh lovely. my gosh, Liam is such a tease. Did you read it? Yeah, I read it. Uh, you and me? Oh my god. I'm not attracted to you in that way. Holy shit. Actually, I think the only way I'm attracted to you is through the tiny gravitational force that your body has a solid mass. Wow, you That's show up this That's many times. Right. It's okay. You moved on from this horrible and shameful experience. What a tease. Horrible and shameful experience. Fuck Liam. You became a functional person and event eventually met a sweet bench named Ash. Oh! oh. Do I unlock a new That's character? <laughs> you shared lots of common interests and after dating for some years, you got married. Oh, what a happy nice. ending. One day, in the middle of your casual conversation, you mentioned oh, no, how you committed a divorce. Oh. <laughs> Despite your years of happiness, your marriage oh, could be cursed with a big revelation, and so Ash abandoned you the next day. Oh That's my god! Up. And thus, you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Never forget, Monster Problem is the most important thing. This is bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so is it all, the, is it all the fucking good. failures and then the one fucking success? You ask no one to prom because you don't need anyone else to make the most of the night. Sometimes you feel like you have to get a date to be anyone in this wicked world. But that's not true. You're your own person. And that's the most important thing. Love is wonderful, sure, but you're in your Oh my gosh, is this one of like, the pitches where it's like, no, it's okay to be by yourself? Prom shouldn't be a deadline, Damn. but a night to remember. And you do Ooh. so, you have a wonderful night. Hell yes, dude! I love this character! I didn't know you could fucking go by yourself. I thought I would chose that. Well, I mean, you had some- you had two good experience with, uh, with Scott. But, yeah, like, I thought it was pretty decent. Yeah, about to say, I don't understand, because every single interaction that Adrian had with Liam was positive. Yeah, no, I it wasn't as insured as Asaba, or Wait, apparently not Liam. Wait, but the last one, Adrian, but... You had way more good ones. Than yeah. The game's pretty hard. <laughs> Going alone in prom doesn't mean being Watch, lonely. Yeah, you have tons of fun with your too. classmates. No, there's no way. Nothing is as sexy as being independent and strong on your own. And people notice. Who knows? Maybe you'll eventually might date one or some of them. Yes. Hell yeah. I think Zach's Dude, to that. I am so fucking into this. Hell yeah. But today, today you marry the knight. Um, sure. Um. <gasps> Oh, prom? Sure. How can I say no to my beautiful accomplishment? Dude, I got fucking three achievements for this. I got the one for being declined. I got the one for successfully dating yourself, I guess. And then I got the one for a success. Well, there you go. Right. This is incredibly <laughs> lucrative. Um, what do I mean by accomplice? I mean, it was clear all this time, right? I stole some eggs from that sea monster, then my serfs cooked an omelette, and you took pictures of the water polo team eating it. Oh my god. Good lord. And remember when we totally stole the addresses of the whole team from Principal Giant Spider's computer? Such good times. Wow, they're so they were calling stuff. Then it was just a matter of delivering the pictures and the addresses to the sea monster, who by my calculations will soon be hunting all of the unpolite peasants down. Wow. Remember Adrian? I think how you said she was dumb. Well, I must say she's clearly not dumb. <laughs> There's egg on my face now. No, don't say that. The monster will kill you. Oh, they fuck. rejected me, and I am sure it has always been clear that you do not reject Miranda Vanderbilt. So in a way, it was sort of all on them, right? It has been so sweet of you, my charming knight in shining armor. Dude, this game is awesome. Damn. <laughs> you feel a bit bad, both for being accomplices to multiple manslaughter and for feeling really aroused by Miranda's ruthlessness. Saba! Kinky! Not on stream. Gamer. But love is blind, and so a date it is. You have a delightful evening, and in the end, isn't that what counts, isn't it? By the end of it, Miranda even invites you to her house to show you the corpses of the water polo team, which she's stolen from her funerals. Oh my god! Oh my god. You're still troubled by the fact that that kind of excites you, but Oz Miranda isn't troubled about being excited by a successful mer mer merciless vendetta. I'm distracted. <laughs> So you end up <laughs> celebrating a victory and feasting over what's left of their enemies. Okay. Alright, well... Most likely never be understood. So yeah. Titus man. Oh my- 20. Oh my- 
Oh my yeah. god! There's so, so yeah, much of this was... game! And this is, by the way, the base game. There's DLC that almost doubles the content. What? Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, this ended Great. up being like a perfectly timed stream. Yeah. Wow. Hey, oh my god, look at all these characters! Whoa. Dude, look at Blob! Even... Look at Blob and Hat! <laughs> We didn't even meet most that of them. Is Blobbert or something? What's his name? That's Blobbert, yeah. Dude, yeah, I want to date Blobbert. Yeah, yeah he's like Those cool. two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Wait, is that just the gym coach? Yeah, it's a gym what? coach. Can you yeah. date him? Maybe. Is that inappropriate? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> After the monster problem, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendships, and er learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Scott became an athlete not long ago. He won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. <laughs> Miranda started a non-profit to help countries without a monarchy. Without a monarchy? <laughs> because all countries should be, have the right to be graciously ruled by the Mer Kingdom. Liam started an iconoclastic band that broke all conventions. Her latest album has been a hit. It has no song at all. The album is actually just a banana set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's very I was gonna say, if it's not conventional, that shouldn't it be like really yeah, bad? To be sure, Liam doesn't care if you don't get it. Oh, well. For those two weeks, Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have been ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called Youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Ready to start what? Monster Life. Monster Life. <laughs> By the way, this song was in Steven Universe. Okay. All right. So. All right. Well, that was interesting. Who's that dude at the left? Those are the monster sonas of the. Whoa! Staff. I want to date Slenderman. These are the monster <laughs> sonas of the staff. Monster sonas. The horses yeah. headless horsemen. By the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Jesse Cox produced this game. You know who that is? Yes, I do know Jesse. Yeah. Jesse Cox. Jex. Jexy. Oh. oh, that's pretty rad. Alright, well... Who the fuck Zach, is that? Zach, Saba... That's the pool. Oh, the Slayer. <laughs> Slayer. And Blobbert. Blobbert. Zach, Saba, I hope you're so happy, because me and Grant's, uh, are very sad. I can't... I yeah. can't fucking believe that... Like, like, Grant failing made sense, but I can't believe that fucking... I can't believe that you failed, Adrian. Yeah, I could have sworn. Yeah, I I could believe it. I might my stats were. I feel like it's like having really really high in one stat is not as good as being decent at all your stats. I feel like I literally asked you that at the beginning of the game. You're like, I don't know. Well, I didn't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, Grant, look, you ended up with Polly anyway. Fuck oh, yeah. Aww. Aww. Thanks for playing. The princess to my castle. Oh, that's because that's because Sabla and Miranda got together. You just unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. About to get weird. I unlocked new images in the gallery. So that so that uh, erotic fanfic is an item you can get in the shop now. Whenever you play for future games, it has a quest for it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, All right, am, we're done. Monster Sonas. Dude, it's fucking Endeavor. <laughs> Wait, who are they? Him from Rivals of Ether. So, oh, they this have, is the like, player character. The characters. Yeah, so why? I don't know why they did that. That's interesting. Oh, that's. That's in. Yeah. Blobbert. Or maybe it's. Blobbert, like, like, yes. The, the worker or whoever, right? The employee plus their favorite monster. I'm about, about to say, there's no way that the rest of these fully art characters aren't in the game, right? They're not in the game. They're just like, uh... Monster what? Players. Are you kidding? I want to date what this dragon! Now? Well, uh... You just got a fanfic about him. I don't right? know if you noticed, but the DLC adds that eldritch horror monstrosity and also a calculester. <gasps> what the fuck is a calculester? Also, this it's is a robot. fucked up. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Dude, look at this thing! That's, That's cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. Wait! Yeah. Wait a minute, because because uh, Saba just said that it seems to be like their monster Sona plus like a character. Is this fucking Polly's mom or sister? That's Polly. It just looks like Polly. That's not That's Polly, is it? Her hair That's Polly when she messed up the prom. No. Her hair's up. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird. Well, because, like, Vera just looks like Vera. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, well, that's weird. It's kind of hard to do snakes, Zach. Calc also, Wait, that's that's <laughs> Who's this guy? That's Calculester. I love Calculester. You know who he's voiced by? <laughs> his name is Hewlett Packard Calculester. You're kidding. Wow. That's his name. Who's that's his voice by Jack <laughs> Hell really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Seriously? Yeah. Why do I have so much Vera art? Because Vera showed up a lot, I guess. Wait, uh, what the like hell are these? Sleep. Who's this? That's the wolf pack. That's the jock team. <laughs> Slayer. I now like I'm. Slayer. Now I, what the? Oh, and these are the Whoa, monster sonas, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lead I artist. Why? <laughs> oh my! So look detailed. at his feet. His feet are so detailed. It's like odd ones out plus long cat plus whatever the feet is. It's Terrence. <laughs> oh, that's hey, Jesse, Jesse Cox. <laughs> yeah. Now, when it means producer, does that just mean that he like paid for the project? Maybe I don't know. He does have advertising. Money. Advertising. Polaroids. Polaroids. Wait a minute! There's Polaroids we didn't get. Yeah. Well, these like these like these are. And stuff. Yeah, each you get a different Polaroid for each ending. Oh my god! Really? Or each each successful ending that isn't failure. Oh my god. Dude, oh yeah, look at all these look at all these endings. Look at all these failed endings. Nah. Bam. Oh my god. Get hype, dude. Well, Saba, are you proud of yourself for being the only one to actually get a date here? Wait, what about my yeah. ending? My ending I mean, was successful. I'm no, I'm, that's I fine, but you didn't get a date. So? Zach, Zach, I dated myself. Zach, your ending was pretty wholesome, but I mean, come on. Come on. Man. Yeah, okay, <laughs> look, listen, look just because look I didn't that. get with the psycho murderer doesn't mean that I failed. To be fair, you everyone. Was in was denial a, a little bit movie. because you were trying to mess me up, me and my plans. No, I wasn't. But it didn't yeah. happen. Shut up. <laughs> I was I was misled by Adrian into believing that I could date the cat. You can. You just need to unlock by playing the game more. Fuck off. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think we should do this tomorrow. <laughs> I like this game. Okay, but I the kind people of agree. who are missing have to. Do you jump really in. want to rematch if tomorrow? You're gonna come back. You gotta you gotta play too. Yeah. I know. Well, I, I could step out. All right. it's, it's the disadvantage of playing too much Outer Wilds. I wasn't able to get to the stream in time. Are, are we gonna Are we gonna rematch it's okay. tomorrow? It's totally fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I still, I still, I, I wanna, I wanna complete Ace Attorney by the end of the semester, like before I leave. But God, right. do I wanna play Monster Prom again? <laughs> Monster Prom is so good, dude. You should get the DLC so there's more characters. To will you else. fuck off and not spending money willy nilly? <laughs> All right, fine. All right, I'm I out. have the DLC. I could stream Monster Prom. I've already bought it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like just now? No. <laughs> well, exactly. well earlier said you didn't have the DLC, so. Shut up. Okay. Create <laughs> well, your own you custom it. character in the mod tool is a is an achievement of this game. Yo, yeah, oh wait! This has workshop support. Can I get some more sexy monsters? Probably. <gasps> All right. Wow, on that note. All right, everybody's out of here. Get out. Get out of here. I need to do something. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, Zach needs to be alone. All right.